It's your boy Shy. Shy vs. Everybody podcast, man. Episode 66 in this bitch, man. We got the homie Stacks in the building, man. What's MVP up, man? What's up? What's up? MVP season. Hell yeah, got motherfucker hustle right there and shit, dog. What's the deal? What's the deal? Shit, man. Before we get to everything, dog, we got another sponsor in the motherfucker building, man. Real quick, man. Hey, fellas, are you tired of your woman saying, damn, Hennessy again? Can we drink something different? Are you tired of waking up hungover, fucked up? Well, I advise you to stop messing with that lane. Fuck with a nigga some Duke of Dame, man. <laughs> Got Duke of Dame in this bitch, man. Duke you know Dame. what I'm saying? Pouring up real quick. They sponsoring the motherfucking show. Got Sugar back there laughing at me and shit. <laughs> Sugar wrote a real Hell poem. yeah. Got right. You know what I'm saying? Got like he wrote that <laughs> Duke of Dame in this bitch, man. But for real, fuck with the Duke of Dame, man. Get, get with them on IG. You know what I'm saying? Duke and Dame Detroit. Go ahead, you know what I'm saying? They they got all type of shit going on right now, man. So go ahead and fuck with them. Get you some Duke Dane for the crib. Your lady gonna love you for it once she get that motherfucking sweet caramel motherfucking taste there in her motherfucking mouth and shit. <laughs> and once you do that shit, shit, you put something else in that motherfucker. You all good. It's <laughs> all time. Hell yeah, man. But shit, man. We always start off everything, dog, with a salute me while I'm here. You know what I'm saying? A lot of times we wait for niggas to pass away and be like, you know what I'm saying? I love you. I love her and shit. Instead of, you know what I'm saying, doing that shit while they, you know what I'm saying, can still smell the motherfucking flowers and shit, dog. So you got somebody in mind, but the only criteria is this shit. You can't include the regular motherfuckers like your, your mom, your dad, brothers, sisters, or if you got kids, it got to be somebody outside that box. Mm. <laughs> Every time you say that shit, <laughs> off real, you got like, mom. <laughs> yeah, real shit, real shit. Um, you know what I'm saying? All right, all right, bet. I got, um... I want to do, since we talking about Duke and Dane, I'm going to yeah. give a shout out to my mans over here. My mans Diddy. My okay. man Sean and shit. Yeah. He been looking out. Um, like, we from the hood. We really from the trenches. HP and shit. So, he been trying to put the hood on yeah. with the music shit. Hell yeah. And, uh, every time he tap me in with some shit, the shit always on the floor. It's always 100. So, like, and he keep his word. A lot of niggas, when he be doing this shit, like, just be telling you different shit. Like, I got the plug with this and that. And niggas don't be on their word and don't be having them plugs. Yeah. So, Hell shout yeah. out to bro for that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. What about you, Hustle, man? You got somebody you want to give a shout out to real quick, dog? I'm going to give a shout out to my nigga Sell the Product. Yeah. Sell the man behind the music. Steve Kerr. We Splash Bros. That's Steve Kerr right there. <laughs> hell yeah. So that's your shout out real quick? Yeah, that's my real quick shout out. That's our engineer. Sell. Engineer, okay. Y'all yeah. Splash Bros. Yeah, 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 yeah hell so, yeah. <laughs> I've been following y'all niggas for long as day. <laughs> straight up, straight up, yeah, that's, yeah. Dog, yes, I'm trying to think, dog. I'm gonna give a, uh, I'm gonna shout out, I'm gonna shout out my nigga A1, dog. He the reason why, you know what I'm saying, I, I call myself a rapper a little bit. You know what I'm saying? That nigga, we used to hang with this nigga all the time. So by us hanging with him, they thought that we was rappers and shit, but I ain't know shit about rap. <laughs> so that nigga had wrote my first little bars and shit, dog. I forgot that shit, but I know it had something to do with hypnotic in the motherfucking verse and shit, though. That's how old it was. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, shout him out. He got his own podcast, uh, A1 Podcast. He doing his thing um, on, the, on the, you know what I'm saying, on the remote front and shit like that. He uh, just had Fable and shit. Y'all remember Fabo, dog? Mm. Hell yeah. Geeked up. <laughs> Hell yeah. He had Fabo on that motherfucker, dog. So, man. shout out to my nigga Al, man. never forget Fabo. You had a house party's turn. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. So, shit, man. We always, you know what I'm saying, start off. We don't jump right into the music, man. We always get into, you know what I'm saying, how it was growing up and shit, dog. What part of, you know what I'm saying, Michigan you from and shit, dog. So, how was it growing up and what hood you from, dog? Shit, we from um, Highland Park. Like, shit, where I'm from. I guess, like, everybody pretty much had the same shit. Like, your parents was either out there getting it. I remember going outside, and you could see niggas on the block getting money. Yeah. But I think we, like, the last era of kids, though, that was actually outside. Hell yeah, for sure. Right. <laughs> so, yeah. Niggas, was, yeah, that's, niggas was in the crib doing everything. Last, so, yeah. last era, as far as, like, I want to say... I say like money right now is when corporate like you said like it's white collar people doing a lot of white collar yeah for sure money. like when we was growing up it was basically you on hustle hustle yeah. or who, what, who what for hustle you, right? yeah. you was taking you was taking real real chances now yeah. it's like it's like a chance you getting slapped on the wrist like real two years a year and a half yeah and ran through okay fifty sixty thousand hell like, yeah oh, you ain't even touched a brick or no heroin or no yeah hell yeah for sure you feel what i'm saying yeah hell yeah so shit who was in the crib though like as far as your crib who was shit, in that bitch my um it was just me and my mom dukes like so my mom was uh my mama got pregnant with me my pops that's my man's number. My pops did the fireball yeah. when she got pregnant so when he got out and they was together for like two years yeah he moved OT. I sent that nigga the summer between fourth and fifth grade and fifth and sixth grade. Yeah. By then, I ain't see that nigga after that to like 
my uncle's funeral when I was like in 10th grade. Yeah, it's always a friend when I make you see a motherfucker. Like, like, yeah, like, <laughs> that's the first time I met my brother. Though. I know my dad had a kid like when he was like 14, 15, young as fuck, dog. And that's that's why we all that's why we all close though, cause yeah, at, at some point, me me this nigga like all my cousins, yeah. all our pops left around the same time. Hell so yeah. it, was like, it was just like us and shit. Yeah, then I know mom's probably at work and shit. So my mom at work. You know what I'm saying? Me. Yeah, that's when that's shout, shout out to my auntie though. If y'all heard Vibe Thirty Six Ways, that song's yeah. about growing up in her house. So like she she had. All of us used to be at her crib and shit, but she gave niggas the space to go out here and do shit and learn shit because she know, like I be telling people all the time, like a woman can't raise a man. Hell yeah. So no, she no. let niggas make their own mistakes and let niggas go out here and do yeah. different shit. Hell yeah. Me? Hell Like shit, growing up, like as you look back at that shit now, do you ever be thinking like, damn, if my pops was around a little bit more, things might have been a little different. You just don't even be thinking about it like that. Oh, facts, bro. You gotta yeah, look at it. Yeah, you know, for sure, if he was around, it would have been different, but like just. Different, different case scenarios, different situations. Mm -hmm. like. Hell yeah, cause I be thinking about that shit. Cause my pops passed away when I was like thirteen. Damn. So it's like, damn, I wonder how shit been. You know what I'm saying? Cause you always be like, damn, you want to see how it is to drink with your motherfucking pops when you get older and shit like that, or the game he could have gave you and shit. So now you relying on niggas in the streets, or you, you know what I'm saying, your you hood from the streets, or, your, or yeah. your uncles, and you hoping that they give you some, you know what I'm saying, some good game and shit. Hey, but but I can't say like shit. My pops, when he hopped off the porch, yeah. like. Pops was right there. I started getting money with my pops. Yeah, so, yeah, for like, sure. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uncle put us. Uncle. Put yeah, so uncle. like yeah, I yeah. got hip to a lot of shit, and when I was getting it caught in certain situations, just being out here is like a lot of shit. Simple shit. You just do it the wrong way or make the wrong decision, they'd be locked up for life right Hell now. Hell yeah. Like, you Hell feel yeah. Me? So he probably able to school you. Take so, hey man, I did like, this shit. Yeah. yeah, he gave us the the mindset, the thinking, like what would happen and what's the outcome. Yeah. Hell yeah, So we man. never really just jumped out and did nothing too stupid. With we that, always that knew how to move. Like. Hell yeah, got to, got to, shit. So man, how was y'all motherfuckers in school, bro? Like, would y'all, would y'all, y'all say hooping was? Yeah, I see a lot of y'all got the motherfucker trophy right here. Motherfucker go by the Splash Brothers and shit. <laughs> got the little Kobe tribute in the motherfucking videos and shit. Like, was hooping something that y'all was, you know, what I'm saying had hoop dreams coming up and shit like that, dog. I think. I think I probably had as much shoot dreams as every little boy had as at a basketball. It was never nothing extreme. The yeah. Kobe shit came from just, I'd be inspired by different shit. Mm. So, like, niggas that know me know I ain't even become a Kobe fan until Kobe retired. Damn, straight up? I couldn't That's, do it because I was an Allen Iverson fan. Damn. My Kobe, so, my man. It's, like, it's, like, <laughs> it's like, yeah, but it's like how niggas be with, like, Brian and KD yeah. or Brian and Kobe. Like, yeah, nigga, yeah, yeah. it's one or the other. So, other, like, yeah. I always appreciated Kobe game and shit, but yeah. I couldn't fool. It was like, no, nah, nigga. I, Damn, I so you was like, you was an Ivo fan, huh? Ivo fan, bro. The Ivo Iverson was that nigga, and he motherfucking, mm -hmm. he changed the whole, nigga, he made the NBA, NBA go totally and do a dress code, code nigga. He was mm -hmm. calling that bitch with motherfucking, uh, uh, remember the Iverson jerseys and shit, dog? Mm -hmm. I had the braids, dog. I had the jerseys. Chains on, He was a do-rag in that bitch, dog. Oh, yeah. Tattoo. Yeah, yeah, he was the first chain. nigga, dog. This nigga tell you, bro, niggas was rocking drawers. I had every pair of Iverson that came about. No, I, the, whatever you dropped, best, I had. Dog, my favorite Iverson, Iverson was them boys that zip up, dog. It was uh, they it was just them bitches again. The yeah, yeah, but I had them boys. I had the black and gray ones, dog. Zip them bitches up, I know man. Exactly. I had Hell. them in third grade. Hell yeah, damn, I'm way older than you. <laughs> <laughs> I, I thought about that shit, nigga. I was like ninth grade with them bitches. Eighth <laughs> grade, <laughs> grade, nigga. Hell yeah, dog. But no, the motherfucking uh. Iverson changed the game for sure because before that you wasn't seeing nobody with tattoos, nigga like like Tupac or some shit. But as far as like the lead, he was the first nigga to kind of be like, damn, this nigga different from everybody. Mm -hmm. Like nigga, braids, like you said, use braids for a while. Yeah, he say what the fuck he want to say. He play how he want to play, nigga. Practice. That bitch. Yeah, the first nigga who was fucking five eleven. And really, you got, playing you got to think guard. about that shit, bro. Like the nigga. Nigga, he practiced, but he ain't. That nigga was going out with Fat Joe and Jada kissing the niggas, yeah. getting he fucked up, and then going looper. right back in that bitch. So, Hell yeah. niggas really come oh, fuck with him. Like, I fuck with Kobe and Brian, both them niggas and MJ got that oh, dedication. Yeah. That nigga wasn't even as dedicated and was busting them niggas' ass. Hell like, yeah. at one point in his career, he was busting everybody's ass so and wasn't even dedicated. Went through some shit in college. Hell yeah, nigga. Yep. He was a real street fuck nigga. Fuck around about the. If it was for George Thompson, that nigga would been, you know what I'm saying, when they had no and, school to go yeah. to because he had that little brawl at the motherfucker bowling there. Yeah, and shit, he, yeah. Yeah. Then the love, they tried to put the rape charge on him. Like he was a, it was a wild. Man, yeah, Iverson was that motherfucker. Shout out to Iverson, dog. That nigga yeah, was that, yeah. was that nigga for sure. But yeah. Yeah, Kobe was my, I was always rooting for that nigga Kobe against uh, Vo, dog. Like Vo had the handles and shit, bro. Like but I'm like, man, Kobe, my nigga, dog. Like, but that because I've been a Laker fan since I was like eight. Yeah, see. So nigga, I rock with Nick Van. I came in the basketball yeah. being an AI fan. Then when he went to the finals, he went to the finals, and then what's his name like? 
Let's be real, niggas know he was gonna lose Man, that bitch. I was arguing. Yeah, but, yeah, yeah. You know, like, you feel me? For sure. Yeah. Like, when he went to the Lakers. It was he, like he, he went to the finals. No niggas knew he was gonna lose that bitch. But, Same way when Brown went by himself. Yeah, niggas yeah. knew he was gonna lose that yeah, bitch. Really. Damn, you made it with this squad. Cause that nigga Iverson was the only team. That Philly team was the only team to even give him one L in the whole playoffs. Yeah, year, dog. So he did his thing. I was arguing with this nigga at work. Nigga gonna try to compare that Philly team with that old four Pistons team. <laughs> My like, niggas, you wow. fucking stupid, dog. Wow. I'm like, these niggas had what? He Aaron compared McKee. that Philly team to that Bron team that went and lost to the Spurs. Yeah, that that's a Bron comparison. Team that yeah, went, yeah, you can yeah. do that with Ogalskis and shit. Aaron right. Snow and shit, dog. Yeah, yeah. Like, you can do that. But, yeah, but you can't, nigga. Hell that whole no. starting five, damn near made the motherfucking All Star game. Yeah. Hell no, nah, Pistons cold. Hell yeah, man. But when usually, like, get back to the music shit, dog. Usually we get our musical influences from our parents, our OGs and shit, dog. So who was the motherfuckers that they was playing? In your crib that, you know what I'm saying, you was liking just because of what, you know what I'm saying, they rock with them. Because a lot of times, you know what I'm saying, mom's making bre- breakfast, cleaning up the crib, playing some music and shit, or dad driving around. Like, who was the people you was liking just because of your parents? Damn, I think Pops might have been off the whole, off the New York shit. So, like, the whole, whole face for show. Yeah. You know, face ain't from New York, but... Whole face, the first nigga that 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 just drew me to. Yeah, I used to be with my uh my auntie. Shout out to my auntie, sir, my cousin Damon, daddy, her baby daddy. Nigga used to listen to all Rough Rider shit. He had yeah. a motorcycle and shit, so yeah, yeah, yeah. I was heavy into DMX. Damn, rest in peace, DMX, niggas. man. Yeah, rest in peace, DMX. But then um like my personal favorite, just off the vocal tone, yeah. you know I ain't understand shit that nigga was saying. <laughs> yeah. was Nas. Yeah. The first time I heard Nas on the radio, man. I was a fan of Nas. I ain't yeah. understand shit he was saying. <laughs> <laughs> like, you feel me? Yeah, that nigga saying too much. Like, what the fuck? It yeah. sounds sweet. It just was dope as fuck. So when I got older, I'm like, damn, like that's one of my favorite rappers. Hell so, yeah, now it's definitely one of my favorite rappers, dog, for sure. Who was? Who what about you, hustle? Uh, around the time that I started really, really listening to music, I was in the South. I was living in Jacksonville, Florida, at this time. Yeah. So my, it was like No Limit, yeah. like Master P, Heavy, Scarface, a yeah. um, lot of Ghetto Boys. Hell uh, yeah. What, I, what more I could say? Uh, outcast, a lot of stuff. Oh, yeah, outcast, outcast so. man. Niggas be sleeping on Outcast. Bro. Yeah, I had a lot of that. So I was just my mom's boyfriend was always listening. He had a suitcase full of tapes. Hell yeah. So I just hit the tapes. Yeah, um, go through them. Throw them inside the rip. Listen to him. Listen to him. Listen to him. Yeah. But he had me real heavy. He was real heavy on uh, Master P. No, he Hell was yeah. really. And real then Master, heavy no, Master P. I was looking at that motherfucking documentary they did with No Limit. Like that nigga wasn't. The, Lyricist at all, Mm-mm. nigga. But he was his nigga. How he did it. Yeah, his hustle, bro. He like how he did it, man. That's, his grind. And then mm-hmm. people be saying, "Nah, like the shit. That shit wouldn't make it today." Which yeah. is true, but the fact is, that nigga got all that shit out, made all that money. Nigga, yeah, yeah, drop an album every time. Right now. now it's smart. It's, it's hot. It's hot. Yeah, yeah. Y'all selling shit. his soul, man. It's hot. <laughs> drop this shit. Still in the yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> Still in the so Forbes and haven't dropped the album on, for man. real, dog. Like, man, know how to make money. Shout out to uh, my brother, Classic Pothead. They was doing the motherfucking uh, his weed podcast, and they was doing the uh, versus battle with the rap snatch, dog. So, <laughs> so <laughs> that's dope. Oh, real, real, hot, real hot that. shit, dog. Real hot shit. If you want to. With, you know what I'm saying His shit though I'll let you know uh, I be smoking weed Doing versus battles Between different strands of weed Damn. And they just incorporate Some motherfucking uh, uh, Munchies on that bitch And Damn, shit That's oh, what I'm trying oh. to get <laughs> Funny I as grab, I'm, That's the funny thing About it, grab me a bag Of them motherfuckers <laughs> no, <laughs> no, My favorite dog Them boosies Be on fire boy Them Romeos And them Cardi B's be slapped. <laughs> I'll, be, I'll mix them together <laughs> <laughs> I'll mix them together Romeo got the honey Hell yeah Hell yeah That barbecue And that Hey 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 Rap snacks Hey Holla at me Y'all need to make stuff together. Hell yeah, together. hell yeah. Sponsor the show, Ralph Snap, Master <laughs> P, bro. Up. We eat them bitches every day, all day. Shit, yeah, fuck man. it. Shit, do us our own I bag. I literally got a bag sitting right here. <laughs> <laughs> so, dog, at the high school, bro, like you said, you know what I'm saying, you, you, you like hooping, but you didn't have that passion, like, nigga, I'm going to the league or some shit like that. And shit, what was, your, what was life like? First off, in high school, nigga, like, how was the grades? Like, so, in high school, I went to, I had all... I was like an honor roll student all the way into high school. Yeah, same here. So I'm from here. Highland Park. Same here. Ninth grade. I went to Southfield later. Yeah. Ain't know nobody at that bitch. Yeah. And yeah. it's so it's so much different. Hell yeah. As, like it's clearly suburban from Highland Park. For sure. But I for wanted sure. to be in the hood. Yeah. Oh, I need some shit. I used to just fuck with the hoes and shit like. That, uh, hell yeah. That's like most niggas. Yeah. But my grades my grades are straight though. I probably had like two point five or some shit. Yeah. I remember I had a uh my ninth grade teacher though, this old white ra- racist lady and shit. Yeah. 
uh, poor cars came. She told my mama, like, I never came to her class. Like, I never been to her class. Yeah. I used to go to a lady class. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, I never went to her class and shit. So my mama was pissed and shit. My birthday right after Christmas <laughs> and shit. I ain't get to do shit. <laughs> I ain't yeah. get shit. I went back to school after the Christmas break. Why, Damn. The, why the lady tell me she had me messed up with another student? Damn. Damn. So you, you ain't got fucked up with punch, so man. You fucked up the whole holiday, birthday. Oh, oh, oh. You don't even say yeah. that. You don't even know this back. That shit was crazy. Two weeks in a row, you just, man, you off, you out of school at the crib just in this bitch, nigga. Yeah. Knowing you ain't do shit. God damn. In 10th grade, I went, went to Highland Park. Yeah. 11th grade, I went to Fred D. Okay. 12th grade, I went back to Highland Park <laughs> for like three months. Yeah, you mm -hmm. bounce around. Three, four months. And then they made me do my work from crib for like... And told me they see me at graduation if I make it. Damn, what, what the fuck? What you was you was on some you was doing some some wild shit. Or something? We had a we had a crazy we had a crazy high school. <laughs> crazy. <laughs> Hell no, I'm about to say that nigga said thing. You don't even come back to this bitch. Like we'll go ahead and mail you. You don't motherfucker work, dog. Cause that's how my nigga was. Cause uh, damn, what was that fucking school that our term school you go to and you be Trumbull. on? Yeah, Trumbull, dog. Niggas get kicked out. Oh, Gotta yeah. go that oh, bitch. Yeah. Like I know a couple niggas went to that bitch. Hell yeah, like damn, this nigga must be on some real crazy shit, dog. So life at the high school, man, like. What was that, though? Like, did you have any plans, or was it all about the music? Like, yeah, or which is like, you just... probably start. I just started freestyling for real. I always knew I could rap and shit. I started freestyling mm -hmm. probably around that time, like right after high school. Yeah, these niggas be these niggas be getting high, getting blows, going to meet up, freestyling and shit. Yeah, yeah go to a booth for twenty dollars. Niggas going their high as hell. Man, you can see whatever they can make. Come up <laughs> this, like, I wasn't like, even into six, it seven niggas time. deep. Duh. Like six, seven niggas deep, but yeah. um. I had a, uh, it's crazy, I had a scholarship for Western Michigan, I ain't even go. Damn, why not? What was what, what, what was up with that? You just wanted to be in the street. Yeah, yeah. Like, you feel me? Take your chances. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think that's how we all be, dog. Like, you probably look back on it now, like, damn, I should, you know what I'm saying? That's all right, that's all That's how I always be, but then. Experience. You, yeah, yeah, you go through that shit then, like I said, you had kids or whatever, or little brothers or just mm -hmm. little homies, you just let them know, you know what I'm saying? They may listen to it, they may not. Cause I out of high school I want I could have went to uh, uh, Tuskegee down south though my uncle had it all lined up for me but me being me I'm like man I don't even want to fucking go down there I got a little bro at the crib like nigga I'm staying and here. It's a change and yeah. shit. Like start rapping if you went. I don't know, bro. I know I want. I always say. <laughs> The flip side of that, I know That's I wasn't no half of shit. I ain't never, now you just brought up, I ain't never think about it. No, because one, dog, uh -huh. I tell this nigga that, my wife that all the time, nigga, one thing changed everything, bro. Yeah. So sometimes you could look back on that shit like, damn, I, I wish I would have did that. But then you'd be like, damn, how would shit be if I did do that? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? You could went down there, fucked up, came back here, anything, dog. Yeah, you're right, but then, like he said, what I've been rapping? No, yeah. no. Like, you Probably, know, yeah, you never know, know, dog. If I wouldn't have been rapping, he wouldn't have been rapping, because I got him rapping. Facts. Yeah. Like, Hell like, yeah. That's see, how that as happened. I said, one I'm thing sitting, changed everything. I'm sitting at the dining room table. I don't remember what I was doing. Stash just came down. Oh, dum, 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 dum. Hey, nigga, you think you can write a verse? <laughs> <laughs> Gosh, exactly. I I try. Yeah, I tried to. <laughs> and it been gone ever since. Dog, that's funny, because, uh, me and my nigga Red, shout out to my nigga Red, dog. I, I always crack niggas up with this, dog. We was the, uh, you know, we was young city boys. <laughs> this before city girls and shit, dog. It's like oh, oh, four. Same shit, dog. He like, dog, it's rap. I mean, nigga, I don't even know how to rap, bro. Like, I don't know what the fuck to do. I mean, it's just write some shit. So, nigga, I don't even know how to write bars. I'm writing paragraphs, nigga. This nigga, uh, uncle is a DJ. We about facts. to go to the showcase. See facts. So then his uncle like, all right, rap, rap for me before y'all go to the showcase. So, nigga, we rapping our heart out. He got a mic and everything. We performing in the basement, nigga. He like, nigga, y'all ass. I'm like, damn. <laughs> so, nigga, he fucked my whole motherfucking pride up, nigga. I'm in this bitch, right? Shot you down. Nigga, we rap to the game beat. This is how we do, bro. We in that motherfucker going back and forth on our Jay kissing style shit, nigga. And he looking like, I can tell when I'm rapping, he not impressed, though. That nigga ain't make not one facial expression like Damn, he ain't rocking with this shit. <laughs> that nigga was like, that nigga turned that bitch off like, cuz, don't go to that motherfucking showcase. Y'all waste y'all time, money, and y'all ass. I never forget that shit. I'm like, damn. Like, so I'm like, man, I'm gonna prove to this nigga, dog. So that's time we practiced on our shit, went to the studio, came back with some shit. He like, dog, y'all been working. So nigga, I could shot my whole dreams down. I could have quit right then and there, nigga. But I'm like, man, fuck it. I'm gonna keep it going, dog. Man, so much shit happened us in this shit. Like, yes, man. We didn't we've been through it all. Yeah. That's why when people be like, I be seeing a little showcase and stuff. We don't really get into it unless we like to go and you know meet and kick it with people because we was doing those on a consistent basis. Like, yeah, hell yeah. Every weekend, we doing it yeah. twice a weekend. Yeah, yeah. Like, and then we like we was just starting. Yeah. We like you were saying like you were just writing. But I know for myself for sure I was just writing paragraphs. <laughs> like, I don't know. I don't know how about everybody else. Is, I I learned my bars off of the music, but I always been into music. Always been in tune with music. Yeah. Music always had an ear for music. 
For sure. So I, I guess it like made. Elementary I'm about to say, what about you though? Like, when did you like start writing and shit? Like, when was I first wrote some shit? Like fifth grade. Okay. Fifth, sixth grade. His brother knew that, so like niggas around me knew. I like my cousins that I be with and shit. Yeah. Niggas knew I could rap when he was a kid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But I just ain't never put no time to it. Yeah, like you ain't get fucked. You just doing that shit, just be doing that song. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Cause I remember we doing that shit on the little tape recorder, pressing the motherfucking play and record buttons, trying to rap and shit. Duh. Damn, I was ass. Why the fuck I even did that shit back then? I don't even know. <laughs> <laughs> shit, but dog, go back, dog. Cause I forgot to ask y'all this mm -hmm. shit, dog. Um, give me a CD or a song that just that just bring back a memory, dog, or a time. Like every time you hear this song or this CD, dog, it take you back to this exact time in life. Carter. First one. Yeah. And what what was that time, nigga? Like shit. Paint the picture for me, cuz. At that time, <laughs> that's when we was, like, really involving in the streets. And, and like, we was growing up. We yeah. was witnessing, going through things. And you know how sometimes music have an influence on you? For sure. Like, that had a, a major influence at that time. Yeah. And it was just, like, mentality of go get some money. Hell yeah. Whatever you do, get money. At that time, we listened to that. Everybody was Wayne fans. At Hell that yeah. Time. Hell yeah. Classic Wayne. I think everybody agreed. Yeah, around that time. So that Carter stuck. So that should be, in my generation, that Carter should have been a lot. Hell yeah. 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 But, yeah. All, all the new Wayne. Yeah, man. Joy. Hell yeah. 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 Squad up, Wayne. nigga. Like, man. That's when Wayne was that nigga before he had the two dreads. He was that yeah. nigga, dog. Yeah, facts. That nigga was cold, <laughs> dog. Like, nigga, you could tell me shit about Wayne, bro. What about you, dog? What's, what's, what's something you think about? Like, high school, middle school, shit. What's something that come in mind? Music, um, shit, bro. I listen to so much shit. Yeah. Probably, uh, mm. yeah, recession was something serious too. <laughs> yeah. I'm gonna say Club <laughs> Motivation 101. Yeah, hell yeah, class. Cause we was into so much shit. Like yeah, that yeah. shit had that shit had control of the niggas' life. Cause we doing everything that the niggas saying on the song. Yeah, like, hell yeah. yeah. That's hell like yeah. niggas' theme music. Like, yeah, you feel me? Mm -hmm. Nigga, you still on anti current shit. Like, hell YGs. yeah. Like you said, <laughs> like the motivation one on one. Man, it hell was yeah. like a blueprint. Like and then with me, dog. <laughs> Jeezy a goat for real. Like fact, just off of that. Like you said, that's another nigga though, man. Right? Lyrics ain't you were feeling yeah, me really yeah, 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 yeah. He, he, he was a bar, he was a a drug lyricist. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. You can sure. never take that from he, he gonna paint that picture, nigga, yeah, for real. For sure, Give you that story. Sure. Hell yeah. You can never go wrong with Jeezy, dog. Like and uh, I remember dog, one CD that come to my mind, dog, is uh uh Get Rich Oh yeah. I just remember like that who the fuck is this nigga? He just clowning niggas like nigga had Dr. Drake beats, like every song on the motherfucking album unit. was fired up. I wanted a pair of jeans. Then he had the little gay uh, white beater and shit, though. Hell yeah. Nigga on the cover. Like, hey, that's yeah, a, that's a, uh, I was, I that's was a, that's a, you, you, you and Riley was talking about on Blue Dots. Dog, that motherfucking white beard was terrible. I wanted that bitch because it make you look like you above and shit, though. Like, maybe if I get this bitch, I look like I'm strong. Yeah, that, that's, what it is. that's what they said. He was like a more of a, he was more like a prep. Yeah, a prop. I mean, you know what yeah. I'm saying like yeah, more like was a prop, a real nigga, man. Yeah, for sure, for but sure. But he was real. He 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 wasn't no. You, you could tell he wasn't no hoe. Then like you said, a situation where him almost dying. That was true stories. And yeah, stuff and like then that. dog, as much shit as he talked, nigga, don't nobody ever him, try it. Right? Yeah, like that's how I told you. Like, he done been in, he done been in shootouts with game after they done beef. Like nigga, yeah, yeah. it's real talk. Like yeah. I don't even fuck with y'all niggas. Niggas do not about. try that nigga dog. Yeah, real, for yeah, real. Yeah, and then nigga always that nigga always come out on top. Whatever nigga fuck with you on IG all motherfucking day. Dog. Like that nigga. If it ain't for no money, it's a few niggas. It's a few nothing. niggas shit don't really work with though. Yeah, like ain't didn't work with Ross at all when he tried no, to shit to Ross. Ross at yeah. all. Officer Curly and all shit like. Ross, all Ross I do, he, is I make better music. It's bang better yeah. music. Yeah. That's yeah. It. yeah, that's it. <laughs> I ain't even about like, to argue and yeah. no, That's what a lot of people. That's what a lot of people don't understand when it comes to this shit. Like, bro, a nigga make better music than you, bro. Oh, I'm gonna do now. Because with your image, like, you better make sure your shit right. Because nigga make a way better song than you. Yeah. Hell no. So, so when you you with the music, you said you know, what I'm saying you dibbling, dabbing that shit, dog. At what point you say you took it like serious, like nigga, this something I'm about to I'm about to do. Shit, we um, it used to be three of us. Uh, rest in peace to uh, rest in peace to my man's uh kids. Yeah, so it used to be it used to be three of us rapping. Shit, my little brother and sister, on my uh, dad's side, their uncle. Mm -hmm. so I think me and that nigga uh, he just had a whole bunch of songs he was working on and shit. Yeah. So then I'm like, damn, he's like, you want to get on some shit? I think I ended up writing something and uh, went to the studio, we recorded. Yeah. The song was straight. 
And then uh, that's when I asked this nigga. Like, yeah, came yeah, back but, asked this nigga. But the first shit. Go back to the school, studio tomorrow. He's going to this other nigga crib. Yeah. He had a studio on his crib. Yeah. It was DJ Pooh. Yeah. Some shit like that. Yeah. DJ Pooh. Okay. Wherever you at, y'all, DJ Pooh. <laughs> like, what, like 11 years ago or some shit like that? Yeah. Like 2011. No, 2009. My yeah. bad. Nine. 11, yeah. 12 years ago, bro. And that's when you was taking, that's when you was like, man, this is some shit I want to do for real. Yeah. And I started feeling it more when I used to go freestyle with my niggas. Like, we'd be in that bitch. What's the name? Like, them niggas in that bitch just like, like, hi, I'm trying to come with some shit. Yeah, like, yeah, 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 yeah. So, um, I just had a feeling then. And then when that happened, just asked this nigga and we was a group. It was like three of us. Yeah. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. Dog. So, like, what's some shit? You said the first time in the studio, bro. You know what I'm saying? Was it was it trash? Like, was you? Because a lot of times when you when you rap at the crib and then you rap in the studio, it's two different things. Like sometimes you can try to be too much on beat. You hear the motherfucking sounds coming through the headphones. Like how was it the first time in the in the booth, dog? It's delivery. I always knew I could rap because when I I could I can get everything out that I'm saying or that I'm picturing myself yeah, saying. You know what yeah. I'm saying? So I get everything out. It was always delivery. Yeah. That's why I like the shit sounds so clean now because when niggas that was my <laughs> one thing I always focus on. Like let me get that delivery down pack. I want every word to be clear so yeah. niggas can understand what I'm saying. Hell yeah. Like I know a lot of niggas be mumbling and shit which is dope but that shit on the hard ass beat. It's so much shit they got go with it though. Yeah I want you to hear exactly what I'm saying. You feel me? So Hell you yeah. Feel me. So that's probably it. The, my delivery probably just wasn't there. Mm-hmm. I see you made a face on your first time in the studio. It must have been awful. Man. <laughs> like, like to myself, like, I ain't hold myself up. I ain't really, I didn't feel like I, like, I didn't like it myself. Like, we had this song, what was that called? You Know, you know. or something yeah, like that? Yeah, there's one song that was called You Know. Man. Used to, uh, we had to perform and shit, but we got to do it. That's like the best song we done did. We did a little showcase and shit, but he hated his verse. Like, he hated his verse every night. No. <laughs> I wish I had that bitch right now and play it right now. <laughs> it was on YouTube. We got that. Hey, you find that bitch. Man. You find it was on YouTube. Say, you find that bitch deleted. like shit. Duh. That's man, funny as hell. That, that, was, that was it. But like, as I continued, I always kept writing, writing, writing. Became, yeah. Became exercise. Became exercise, exercise, exercise. Hell yeah. Stayed at it. Made sure we stayed at it. We even, then we, that's when we got the studio in the crib. We made the one in the closet. Yeah. We had a, a, right, stu- a with stand, the hanger with the hanger with, with a, the stocking on our hand. Hell yeah. Like, hell like, yeah. Like, yeah. Get how you live, we shit. Eggs, we took the eggplants around the thing and did it. <laughs> yeah, the sound hell yeah. That motherfucker. Interface. Yeah. We did all that. We did a whole mixtape. Well, yeah. that night, well, the, how about 19 songs when we did that, bro? Yeah, y'all niggas going in. Like, <laughs> like, for real, we was using industry. Industry. Yeah, yeah. cause yeah. then just to practice, like, mm-hmm. to practice, cause niggas ain't, you just start rapping. A lot of niggas just start rapping, like, yeah. and to put out, say you just start rapping last week and you got five songs. Mm-hmm. Niggas doing that now, they putting their whole first five songs out, yeah, like yeah. you said, but when yeah. you first start rapping, that shit don't sound no. like you trying to get it mm-hmm. sound. Niggas don't be giving a fuck. Yeah, yeah. Like, <laughs> you know, still to this day, so that's our why way, we still stack music all right yeah. so our way to practice just to making sure that we could rap on different type of shit it's like whatever popping on the radio mm-hmm. so like you know they got the top 10 yeah. like shit we we'll take yeah. like four of them bitches get the and beat that shit. and go rap over that shit mm-hmm. we tried that shit it didn't go all right <laughs> <laughs> we tried that shit dog it didn't happen right dog so shit who you uh who you say you get your musical influences from dog man like not necessarily like mocking or like you know what I'm saying still in style but like who influenced no, you to make saying. music, though? Like, you listen to somebody like, damn, like. Shit, Fab. Yeah. Shit, mostly everybody in my top 10. In my top 10. I got like a top 10. Mostly everybody. Oh, shit, nigga. You, you can name your top 10? Or your top 5? I want to hear it, dog. Like, yeah, I can't put them in order, but. She ain't got to be in order. All right, so I don't, I don't include Hov and Nas because it's like. That's what I always say. Like, I, that's funny you say that shit because a lot of times I be asking niggas they top 5 without the obvious. You know what I'm saying? Because everybody gonna have pop, big, whole, so nice. Include, yeah, them four, I don't include. You ain't got like, to. Them niggas all them certified goats. Yeah, for sure. So I don't include none of them niggas. But uh, Wayne, for sure. Yeah. Kanye. Fab. Drake. Wayne, Kanye, Fab, Drake. J. Cole. Mm-hmm. Kendrick Lamar. Rick Ross. Yeah, good list. <laughs> Nipsey Hussle Wale Who slept on Yeah he slept, slept on Yeah for sure And um Damn I'm missing somebody That's nine I'm missing somebody Shit Damn 
<laughs> Put yourself, <laughs> nigga. <laughs> yeah. Myself. Myself, Yo, right, 10, 10. You say, 10, uh, 10, uh, I, I know D gonna grip me on this one, dog. You said Wale and shit, dog, and you said that, but you gotta say crit, dog. Facts, facts. Big Chris, facts. I know, I know, I already know. Nigga sleep on him, dog. No, nah, facts, facts. Like, Chris was here. I remember my brother put me on that shit. I'm like, dog, what the fuck? Like, this nigga hard. Like, and he still don't really get the 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 the, the recognition that he should to me. But no. my shit, in my top 10 without them, one person I would have added on my shit, I, I almost agree with your shit the whole way. But the game, to me, dog, like, nigga say all the fuck shit that he do, dog. But the game nigga made some classic albums, dog. Like, nah, for sure. That's my nigga, dog. I probably had to put a game in there. For sure. LAX and, is my favorite album from the game. Yeah. He, the only one I didn't really like was that first one when he left uh uh Dr. Dre and them, dog. Like that second album. That was that wasn't really that hard. Like, cause yeah, you know what I'm saying? Cause then he trying to like rebrand himself and shit. And like I said, he 50 again. Start, and then he got yeah. to start rapping like everybody he did a song with. Yeah, yeah, hell <laughs> yeah. But see, to me, you say he in your top ten, I feel like he do this shit. Drake. I feel like he just copy the times and then run with that I, bitch. I think he he, he just dictate the time. He he, yeah. he brings it. it, it he people he just levitate to because right right now as far as it was Andre three thousand mm -hmm. that was doing like the harmonizing and singing with their rap shit, and then it was Kanye, but the picture was still wrong with Kanye because he was trying to sing, but he can't. Yeah, yeah. Lil Wayne tried the shit, and Lil Wayne can't sing. Yeah, like, feel me? Drake ain't like a good that. singer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But he, he can hold a note, singer, though, yeah. But he can hold a note. So when he dropped "Take Care," if you go back and listen to every album that came out after "Take Care," yeah. when he did the half singing shit, yeah. every rapper rapped like that. Yeah, yeah. I guess you. Like, every Kanye single rapper rapped like Kanye that. Kanye was already. That's doing why Kanye don't fuck yeah. that nigga. Every Kanye, <laughs> Kanye was doing it already. Yeah, but, but the fact that he couldn't master, it, like you said, because people didn't peep. It was like if you take what Kanye was doing. But you put that. But Cuddy was kind of on that shit too, though. But that's before. Yeah, you're right. That's but way if you put the so far Cuddy. gone shit, yeah, yeah, yeah. the so far gone shit, when he really did it, take care of this on a bigger scale. But if you put the, you take that shit that Kanye was doing, yeah. all that prime Kanye shit, and put that with Wayne, put yeah. that Kanye content yeah. with Wayne bars, yeah, and that's yeah. Drake. Right? Hell yeah, for sure. I, 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 yeah, I, I can do that. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Now, uh, you said early, dog. You from, uh, you from HP, dog. You ever felt like, as far as you being there, you might not get as much love because you're not from D Detroit? Yes, sir. Yeah, for sure. Talk that's about it, dog. <laughs> shit, that's why I always <laughs> say that shit. If you listen to our, any of our music, you got a Highland Park rap tag on there. Yeah. You feel me? Any splash, bro. Should we make shit just for the hood? Like, right now, I've been doing all this merch, like this uh, jersey I got on. Yeah, for sure. I've been doing all this merch, these hats and shit like that, because... I know niggas feel like that, but since y'all feel like that, I'm putting it in y'all face. Like, Hell same yeah. way Nipsey branded Crenshaw, yeah, yeah. and we in Detroit right now on the east side, but if you go to the store, it might be a nigga with a Crenshaw jacket on. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, Never the show, bitch. Park, Hell yeah. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Just like that, just being in the culture. Hell yeah. And I'm just yeah. trying to set a culture. And then, one thing I like about y'all, though, is y'all, a lot of niggas are hide away from it, just say from Detroit, just so niggas could be like, all right, they, you know what I'm saying? They yeah. from the city, we're gonna rock with them niggas, they from the city. But y'all just putting it out there, like, nigga, I'm from HP, I'm from Holland Park and shit. It's yeah. like when you go out of town, nigga, you gotta meet, meet somebody from Michigan. First thing you ain't gonna do is say you from Detroit. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and something else too, man. Like I be seeing these memes. We all see these memes about these Highland Park shit. It be like Detroit East Side, West Side. We ain't never been, been them been niggas. There. Like you see, you say, I, don't, I don't know where that shit be, be coming from. making us look bad. No, like, damn. Like, they damn, they do girl. make Highland Park look like y'all got some trash hoes. They be making us look bad. I love, I love the hood, bro, but. They be making us, they, it's hey, they be making the East Side look bad too. They be making like the West Side is the best shit, dog. They be making us look bad, Man. dog. But at the still at the end, it's, it's just still. <laughs> like they be like, doing like the phone yeah, service. They be over here too. <laughs> make over almost here, like, yeah. everywhere. Man, yeah, that shit funny as hell. I be forgetting all about the memes because they be doing the little cell phone shit, saying like. Like who, 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 what service is like? Right. <laughs> like, how the park would be like, well, fuck. <laughs> like damn, like, damn, I ain't yeah, even yeah. know it was like that. Like this jacket you got on, like yeah. so I just been designing shit too, try to put shit hard. Hell yeah, on. got the motherfucker uh, hat and shit. I'm about to go here rock this bitch and shit, dog. Shit hard as hell. I wish I would have blue shirt to put on now. I got a song on my tape called New HP. Like yeah, I got was seven niggas from my hood on one yeah, song. Oh yeah, I peaked that. Yeah, yeah. Like, last last song and shit. Hell yeah. So shit, man, real quick before we get to the music, y'all music and shit, dog. Uh, you from HP, Hustle from HP, you got Diddy, he back there from HP, dog. When y'all meet this nigga, man, this old, one, this nigga, smooth ass nigga, dog. Like, how how y'all meet that nigga, man? Shit, I think we when we first Diddy. meet you, yeah, but from it was the first got to kicking it with him was like, was it about that mixtape? Then you try to put together a mixtape? Yeah. He tried to put together a mixtape mm -hmm. like yeah. shit years ago. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, the time to lock he the did hood with that was, bitch out. The hood was, was real. 
segregated oh, at that time. People were separate. A lot indeed. of people weren't messing with each other at that time. Yeah. And so it was it was way harder to do it, wasn't it, Diddy, bro? Yeah, that it time. was. Yeah, they missed my first show, too, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the craziest thing, we was already... Then we already go there. We came there and we pulled up. Yeah, it was like in the back. See, it was some it, weird shit happening. Yeah. That's why I said we was there. That's why I said we came. Yeah, for yeah, sure, for sure. Oh, yeah. yeah I don't remember that time. <laughs> I don't remember you that time. We walked through that bitch and everything. Like, where the fuck is this shit? Well, where is like, everybody at? It was a whole, it was a building, went up to the top of level. You wasn't nobody there. Yeah. We didn't, bad location, bad, I mean, bad. I'm about to say niggas sent bad tickets. No, it was, <laughs> it was legit. We didn't know where we was at. Yeah, no, bullshit. Hey, well, no. So, how, shit, how y'all two meet? I know y'all be hella young. Oh, y'all cut y'all family? Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. I, okay, you say, uh, I thought, okay, okay, okay. Oh, yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, it's family. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's hell. family thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, y'all came out, you know what I'm saying? Y'all doing music and shit, dog. Y'all put out mistapes and shit like that, dog. What, uh, the first mistape was, uh, Vibes, right? That's on the yeah, stream. Yeah, on DSPs. That was the first thing we put out. What's that doing? You know, like the happening. So, we did, we did some shit called We Ain't Even Sign. That shit only on that Piff and shit. I don't mm-hmm. even. And then after that, it was like shit, what, like six year break? Yeah, like a six year break, like life be happening and shit. Oh yeah, so for sure, like hell yeah. Six year break, so then the first shit, yeah. So the first official shit we put out was vibes. Okay, okay. Now you got your own solo project. Yeah. You about to make do a solo project, dog? Y'all got the group shit. Like, is it is it one that's easier than the other? What you mean? Is like, it is it easier doing a solo shit or a group shit? Like, cause of course when you solo shit, everything you do is is on you. It's your decision. But in the group. Some one man might not like the song. You might like you might like it. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, how is it like that? That's like, probably the only difference, right there. Like when you solo, you could just do it. Cause at the same time, like we both artists. So yeah. like me and this nigga, the, we get better the more we do this shit. So mm. as we grow, our musical tastes be different. As yeah. far as like Beastie, might he might own some shit yeah. that I don't fuck with. You yeah, feel yeah, me? Yeah. I might make some shit and he don't fuck with that shit. That yeah. don't mean shit. Like you can't like the song ain't good. Just we got different tastes of music. We're sure. always trying to put our best shit out. So yeah, like, you yeah. Me? Hell yeah. Cause to go back on my shit, I remember, dog, I ain't, when, I, when I was doing music with my homie, I felt like my music got better once I stopped fucking with him. Yeah. Because like when I was rapping with him, I kept having to lie about shit, bro. Because he was rapping, he was rapping about shit. I'm trying to motherfucking. That's, we had that's what we had with the third. We nigga. had that with the third nigga. Duh. And was like that shit had me to the fuck up <laughs> to the point where I be telling niggas this shit all the time. Them niggas will be agreeing on shit. It's three of us. He agree with this nigga. Yeah. This shit, man, you want to go solo like, yeah. every time. We just start doing this shit. Like, damn. Like, man, fuck this. I go solo on yeah. niggas because I keep on doing these songs. But it was cool for me because I was doing all the shit I don't like. But yeah. it was like on Southern it, Beats, too. It was just rep- it was repertory. That's why I looked at it. Was, it, was work- it was practice. Yeah, That's why sure. I looked at it. I had to stay working. I, I couldn't afford to stop. Yeah, you feel what I'm saying? Like yeah. I'm just starting for real. For yeah, real. yeah. So yeah, you got some a little so, catching up. Seeing yeah, like, yeah, yeah. yeah. So I, and you got you, fuck it. you got you hear that? So he like, cause like, man, I don't know, but I ain't fucking with him. I'm yeah. like, and at this time, I'm living with bro, like, and we got the whole studio in the basement. So I'm like, I gotta keep working. Yeah, I gotta, I gotta. Yeah, I just stopped coming to the studio yeah. and everything. Yeah, right, and then he was shot. He at this time he was shot in the foot. Yeah, like so he was on crutches at this time. So yeah. Yeah, I was down for a minute. Damn. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it was. Yeah, it was. It was crazy, man. Like, like you said, life. Life hit us for a minute, and we. That's how we just was able to get really back into music once we, kind of what basically want to be. Shit, how can you say it, bro? I don't know. I had the idea for vibes before we stopped doing music. We yeah. made some shit. I'm like, damn, bro. Like, you could feel. I just want to make timeless music. So yeah. that's what vibes supposed to be. It's supposed to be timeless music. When you listen to that shit, it's supposed to be a vibe. Right. You smoke your blunt. Yeah. Like you feel me? We drinking right now. Whatever you doing, when you yeah, just chilling, yeah. you could put that bitch on and it's a ride. Now we yeah. didn't got to the point where everything we make is timeless. Yeah, hell yeah. Cause that's just we don't follow the wave of everybody else. Like, like stacks to tell me like you listen to this. You heard this. You heard. I'm like, bro, hell no. Yeah. Like, like, he be saying like, he be like, damn, you heard this? I'm like, bro, when I be in my mode, I, don't, yeah. I like that's one like one thing. I don't have nobody in music that influenced me to do music. Like, yeah. like you just him like, coming down there saying that to me kind of influence, and then niggas doubting it influence me. You mm-hmm. feel what I'm saying that niggas around me doubting it that flat yeah, built the fire. You feel what I'm saying? Everything. I was like, okay, hell yeah. Oh, these things think I can. Oh, so, oh they. Oh, things shit sweet. You see yeah, him, Blase? Yeah, yeah, for sure, for sure. Hell yeah. Okay, let come with this straight heat. Yeah, Blase, work and work, preparatory. Yeah, it just how how it was. Like so, that's how. I, it's kind of it's kind of a thing you gotta have a a love for. Oh yeah, for like, sure. A lot of people don't understand 
it got to have this this not free. Hell yeah. This stuff don't be free what we what we do. Hell no, nah, shit money going yeah. to that shit, that studio shit. Got to be shit. calculated. Man, that shit got to be planned and shit. Like, yeah. And then shout shout out to bro cuz I always got to what's the name? I'm just super creative so I'm always knowing what to do seeing some shit before mm-hmm. it happens. So I'm just going to tell bro like shit yeah. bro I'm thinking about this. Hell and yeah. then it usually be like I ain't steered a nigga wrong yet, so you yeah. like, all right. For sure. Right. Like, dog, do it, uh, like, when you, you were talking about putting money, when you put money into something, dog, and you maybe not seeing it pan out the way you want to, do it ever discourage you? Like, man, you know what? This might not be it, or, you know, you ever, you ever feel like that sometimes, bro? I think it's a, it's going to be a little bit of doubt in everything. You just can't let that shit, uh, seep in. Yeah. I wake up every morning, I was just telling, um, uh, I was just telling my girl this shit. I wake up every morning and be like, "Now I'm the shit." Like yeah. you feel me? I don't God, get a fuck. Yeah. I be going somewhere. I could be standing next to a nigga with a hundred thousand on. I might Straight have a thousand up. on. Like hell you feel yeah. me? I'm making this nigga un- feel uncomfortable because I'm being <laughs> me and yeah. like because I'm sure. just simply me. Like, you you, feel me? you ain't even might, you. I ain't you me. You <laughs> look like somebody else. Hell yeah. You, feel yeah. Me? No, you putting sure. up? You waking up in the morning and putting on the front. Hell yeah, put on different whole. Let me put this mask on. Yeah, today. Like, you know what I'm saying? Who fucked you, whole you ass nigga? You not comfortable. Exactly. You're there, nigga. Like, you got to put a costume on every day, every day Halloween for your, for most of these niggas, dog. But that's how I be though. But shit, man. You got the motherfucker trophy on this motherfucker, dog. Yeah, it's MVP season. Hell, that's what I was saying. You've seen my post, y'all know it's still MVP season. Hell yeah. So what made you come up with the uh, name MVP season, dog? Like, you just felt like that was just a play on just being MVP of motherfucker HP. Like, what was it? Shit, I, like he was saying, like, we've been going off of, uh, we've been going off of doubt. Like, niggas be coming up to me like, yeah, bro. I never heard this song. Like, I thought that shit was so cold. Like, every time we do some shit, but yeah. niggas always... I don't know. I just wasn't feeling the love all the way. I see the little shit niggas be doing, but I just wasn't seeing the love and shit. So I'm yeah. just like, shit. I'm like, I do this shit for real. I'm the MVP. Hell yeah. And if somebody got a problem with it, then they can say that. Like, yeah. I'm an artist. We, yeah. I, I rap. Like, Hell you yeah. Feel me? Hell yeah. And shit. if you want it the other way, like, yeah. we with that too. You know what I'm randomly but, thinking about, bro? It's like, what, what if you were defending that motherfucking shit, that title, like, and, you know how you doing versus battles, though, like. That's what, so, and that's why, I, so look. Like, nigga, I put my motherfucking joke I, just telling, I was just telling this nigga that, like, bro, I, I dropped the EP, that six songs, like, I ain't got no problem battling nigga, the, the whole six off that bitch, like, you feel yeah. me? Not even a clue, and it's really over if I include some yeah, hustle yeah, and yeah. some Splash Bro shit, but just, yeah. just my six, because I know what I'm doing with shit. Yeah. Hell I'm comfortable yeah. with what I'm doing. I wasn't listening to nobody's shit when I came out. Hell yeah. I wasn't telling niggas, like, oh. Oh, look, I just got this heat. We did uh, Splash Bros. Mm-hmm. That next day after we did Splash Bros, I told our engineer, like, bro, I need eight-hour session. Yeah. And I started working on that shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Gotta keep working, dog. Ain't no time off. Because, shit, I be thinking, that's how I do with this podcast. I tell my son this shit with the hooping. Nigga, it's somebody always working. So, nigga, like, you got to be right. You got to be doing something, but you got to keep it moving, keep it going. Because as soon as you take a pause, nigga, you... Shit, you giving that nigga a motherfucking a head a head star or, or a lead in that motherfucking race, dog. Yeah, and then and then, I, I refuse to let that shit happen. Fuck that. And then people talking about consistency, like we we really up. He got his shit done. Yeah, we got more vibes coming within a month, and then he coming right after that with his solo all yeah. gas no brakes. Yeah, hell and yeah. And then after that, I'm dropping a three pack, a, a three pack EV, EP All Star MVP. Yeah. Hell yeah, that shit keep that shit going. That shit we got cold. a capsule pack. Like, like we shit. good, we really good for show. If we wanted to stop recording now, which we not, but yeah. if we wanted to stop recording music now, we good to this time next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Up. Hell yeah. We gonna get ready to come album in a minute. Oh yeah, for sure. Yeah. Now I always do because you know you, you did say six songs though. I did my top three on your uh, MVP season. You give me your top three. My top three songs on there is the intro on this the first three intro on this marathon late night thoughts. That was my favorite mm-hmm. three on that bitch. What's yours? Yeah. On this marathon, on this marathon, new HP, and probably down bitches. Oh, yeah, yeah, bitch hard. Yeah, yeah, hell yeah. Matter of fact, we got this one shit, dog. Talk about the bars, man. Okay. I was looking, I was listening to you. I will listen to your shit, dog. We gonna, I'm gonna give you uh, something you said. We gonna talk about it, dog. So you got on the uh, on the game. You say people start to treat you different when they know it's you on. People turn yes man when they know it's you wrong. Talk about that shit, bro. Like with that shit, that I look at, I look at like that. We got somebody at the door and shit. <laughs> I look at, I look at that shit like you know what I'm saying. You know, niggas, you gonna always have yes man once you once you be on. You you mm-hmm. need somebody that's gonna tell you the truth, and you gonna need somebody that's gonna keep it honest with you, dog. Mm-hmm. So what was you saying? Like what would you what was your meaning behind that shit? Exactly that, like. Once you a nigga could look at you a certain way, 
Like me and you could be in contact, but just don't fuck with each other like that. If yeah. you see me on not, yeah. you about to just start coming and hanging around me. Not just for the simple fact of I'm go I'm, I'm on or you see me moving. Hell like, yeah. You feel me? If I wasn't moving, you wouldn't even fuck with me like that. So, oh no, for sure. <laughs> just know that energy, and because of that. You willing to tell me anything? Yeah. You willing to tell yeah. me anything? Hell yeah, just for sure. To stay just to stay on benefit. the motherfucking team, like, hey man, you you the shit, man. That shit hard. Like, yeah, just, <laughs> just the benefit. Hey man, I've been loving you, dog. Niggas like, don't be understanding that, uh, like niggas know that shit and can feel that shit. Yeah. Like, right now, this nigga already know, like, bro, if this shit ain't for me, if the energy ain't right, I ain't even hell ain't yeah even dealing with this shit. Hell yeah. So then on on, on this marathon, you say I've been focused on my bag and trying to run it up. A lot of my bitches bad, but they dumb as fuck. Like nigga, that shit, that shit real because nigga, it, it, dang, I think me and bro, me and somebody was talking about this shit, dog. A lot of times niggas be fucking with bitches because it's all looks and shit, but they bitches be dumb as fuck at the end of the day, nigga. After I fuck you, this is on the show. Yeah. After I fuck you, I don't even want to fuck with you no more, dog. So it, is that what you were saying on this shit or nah, like? No, nah, facts. That's exactly what I meant. Like nigga, sometimes it be like it, it always be, especially with me, it be like some of the baddest bitches. Then you just be having a conversation <laughs> like, just damn, dumb. Yeah, like, stupid dog. as fuck. They like, like, no. Like, no, no morals. Yeah, like, it's damn. all out dumb. They <laughs> only have their looks. Dog, they got for real. Looks. Cause then that's no when you be feeling like a jackass. Like I ain't fucked this bitch, and you looking at her like, damn, yeah. this bitch a bag of rocks for brains yeah. and shit, dog. Like, there ain't so many times niggas be chasing. I be listening to Gillian Wallow, dog. They talk about this shit all the time. Like, dumb bitches looking bad. Like, mm -hmm. and at the end of the day, it's going to make you look stupid. I had I have a chick, dog. I ain't going to say her name. And she don't watch this shit, dog. I used to be embarrassed when she used to talk. I mean, damn, please don't say, please don't involve in this conversation. Bitch, be a full uh, bitch, you, you can't say bitch, shit. Bitch, be a full-blown <laughs> alcoholic, bro. You feel me? So Smoke heavy loud. cigarettes. No. Like, got a deep-ass <laughs> voice. Like, damn. Like, all this crazy shit. Like, damn. I ain't even noticed from the Instagram picture. Like, <laughs> hey, them filters will fuck you up, boy. Like, them filters will fuck you up, dog. Damn. And so, <laughs> no, them filters will fuck. Hey, don't 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 get fucked up over them motherfucking. Because what they do, they go on motherfucking uh, Snapchat, get those filters, and put that bitch on IG. That shit. Be rare, Skin bro. looking smooth that as shit, hell. That should be rare as hell when they look like. And then some of y'all. Made a post about while, that, uh, while we talking about this, some of y'all, some of the females that's listening, like we can tell us a feet uh, uh, a filter. Like some of y'all use the same filter. That should be blurry as hell. <laughs> <laughs> y'all be thinking that should make y'all look good. That should be making y'all look blurry as hell. Uh, dog, and we know you putting a filter on there to try to make yourself look better. Hell like, yeah. And then stay on the same shit on the song down, bitch. You say you don't trip when I'm gone because you know I'm gonna be grounded. Like that's some shit that's important, bro. Like. If your if your your lady and shit dog know that like, you out here doing some real shit and not thinking that you out here fucking some hoes and Man, shit. Man, I've been in a situation where you out here when you when you not doing nothing when you not doing nothing it's a complaint about like damn. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Then when you out here every time you out here doing it it's like damn where you at like you know I'm handling yeah, like, business like nigga. you feel me like you want the time or you or you want this bread like, hell yeah hell yeah you want it's one or the other yeah broke in the crib yeah, exactly. eating ramen noodles nigga or you exactly. <laughs> get this money so we can go out exactly. to eat dog and the real ones understand that shit though no no that's a fact like and then even even still like I know my wife be mad she don't say shit but you can see it in the face but she don't say shit I'll be happy like just don't say shit cause you know what I'm doing. Like that that's cool, but cause I don't need anybody, you know what I'm saying, getting mad or calling, blowing the phone up. Where no, you at? I mean like, they don't even know that. That's why that's why we got a vibe, just a little simple shit like that. Like you already know that's when they do that, you about to you trying to fuck up the day. Yeah. Like, you feel me? I Hell can't yeah. even do what I'm doing. Are you not, in the studio or not? To... My motherfucking everything I'm fucking the whole the vibes. I'm fucking the exactly. whole vibes up cause you ain't cuss me out with shit, dog. Exactly. The whole session though. <laughs> Hell yeah, you ain't paid this money, like you said you got an eight hour window. Now your whole shit then got blew up because she didn't motherfucking say you fucking Keisha. <laughs> Fucked up, dog. So uh, on the new HP, dog, you was like, you ain't seen real money until you got unemployment. Man. As soon as you said that shit, I thought about all niggas who be on IG. Out here, nigga, making sound they been getting this money, dog. Like, it's okay to get shit with your money, your stimulus, your unemployment, your tax money. But don't make it seem like this something like you was doing you on the regular. Did some sweat yeah, for it. Yeah. Yeah, 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 yeah dog. So that's what, that's what you was talking about with that shit, bro. Hell yeah, because you don't see a nigga uh, post a nigga. Just like friend from that show, we know how much money niggas was getting. A nigga a post 20 bears and be like, out the bud. Like, ain't nothing wrong with you getting that shit, my dog. But yeah. what, what you mean, out the bud? Like, you feel me? Yeah. You, put, you punched a couple of numbers in some words, yeah. man. Hell yeah. And that's your mug. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, dog. you feel me? Because I'll be saying niggas, oh, man, I see that shit so much, dog. I'll be like, I just be laughing, bro. And it was just mean, like, nigga, like, let's talk and more action, bro. Like, sometimes you ain't got to say shit. Niggas gonna see you and gonna be like, damn, they working without you even talking. Cause the nigga who always got run their mouth for say some shit, they ain't really doing nothing. 
You know what I'm saying? Oh, uh, facts, facts, and that's how we move, bro. Like you ain't really got to a nigga should be able to notice what you're doing without you saying something. The fact that you saying something, you just want attention. Yeah. Like, and I think that's the difference with me and him with most of his music shit. Niggas be doing so much gimmicky shit. But attention and willing to go online and post no crazy shit. It just ain't in me. Like, yeah. I ain't never been that type of nigga. I'm about yeah. to go on here and so make bro- myself look crazy. Yeah, so you press in, like, man, 10, I'm a, a whole ass nigga. Like, <laughs> yeah. yeah, like, you feel me? I can't even take that. Like, yeah, like, it's, it's a lot of motherfuckers who be in the game, in the city, out the city, just overall. Like, a lot of niggas be acting like bros, bro, when it comes to this Instagram shit, this social media shit, bro. Like, nigga, just be you. Yeah, if I wasn't even rapping, I wouldn't even have this shit. Facts. Like, no, shout shit, out to my nigga I Cheese, say, though. My nigga Cheese, the only nigga I know. Ain't had no social media yeah. in three, four years, bro. It's, it's really useless. Like you, it, then it's your. It take away too much right. time that you spending anyway. Right. If you doing, if you not using it to make no money or yeah, to right. you probably yourself. got the better chance with the hoes too. If you don't got an right. idea, right. <laughs> yeah. you like, get if we caught being up, real, you definitely yeah. don't get caught uh, up. You feel me? No. If we being real, like you got hey, a better chance nigga, with the hoes. I, they gonna want to fuck more. They find you ain't got no. I, no, I ain't on social media. Like damn, oh, shit. Like, <laughs> I ain't gotta worry about be, getting caught with this nigga. Wild, like, she can be, bro, no. my old in my old days, dog, my old days many moons ago and shit. <laughs> when I was on my motherfucking dirt bad shit, dog. I remember talking to a new bitch and I go on Facebook just to make sure she ain't got no mutual friends with my current chick. Like, damn, oh, I'm like, so. this shit getting too much. Like, I mean, <laughs> if, if, if somebody gonna be a mutual friend hey, these days, you be like, no. damn. Hell yeah, then with my, my wife now, nigga, she a motherfucking pre-K yeah, right. teacher. So motherfucking chicks be hey, Rashad. I'm like, who, who the fuck is this? Where, where, where your wife Where Alice at Like uh, Nigga I'm in the club Why the fuck I'm gonna bring her here with me I'm here I'm here I'm here chilling Like I go back to the crib She like Oh yeah such and such Like Cause you know You get your Your, your picture posted on IG mm-hmm. Nigga seeing you Like oh you such and such husband mm-hmm. So you in that bitch Dancing Bitch might Throw that ass back To a Jeezy song And, mm-hmm. <laughs> and you on motherfucking film Nigga all on Facebook though. Caught Ain't even even doing nothing Hell no know. You just Walk by and some ass Got thrown you on you You just dog. guilty by circumstance <laughs> Hell yeah, dog, for sure. Like, damn. That's why you know. That's a fucked up way. <laughs> dog, you just walk by a picture. You got that damn. motherfucker. No, no disrespect, but you know how Tupac, when he about to die, how he had that, that look on his face? Yeah. You got that look, nigga, like, when you get it. Uh-huh. <laughs> you ain't got that picture snap, nigga? Like, fuck, I'm fucked up, bro. The real talk, this is the real yeah. shit, dog. I, I wasn't even doing I was out there hanging with my nigga Weez. He want his birthday. He, this nigga wanted to go to the club. I'm like, I do not want to go to the club, bro. He like, dog, come on. I'm like, fuck it. We ain't that bitch. I paid the dub. Get in, nigga. I'm drinking. I see my wife's sister. I'm straight. Good luck. I see my wife's sister walk past me, nigga. I heard her jet out that bitch. Even though I wasn't doing shit, I ain't want to, like you said, guilty by association, though. I ain't want to hey, stand but that's what, and That's what, uh... <laughs> I ran out that bitch. We be talking nigga. about situations where, like, even if you don't do shit for niggas that females don't even understand, like, even if you don't do shit, you look guilty. Yeah. If, your, if her sister seen you running out that bitch, yeah. it's going to look like, what you was hot for? Even though you wasn't doing nothing, yeah, yeah. she in here. She would seen you walk around that bitch like, yeah, I seen the back there say he took off from here. <laughs> that nigga was like, gone. You feel me? Like, yeah, that motherfucker HP had on. Holly Park had on. Nigga exactly, was gone. Like, you would be like, damn. Duh, like, you feel me? For That's sure. a whole argument. Like, I ain't even did shit. What you mean? I just left the club. Bro. Hell yeah. Like, why you leave when she come in there? What you like, hiding? Like, damn. Nigga, I can't win for losing. Don't dog. let it have been the bitch walking out. You feel me? At the same time, you was dog. leaving. Then the now dog, you about to go about bitch. Now the bitch in the red fuck. dress. Like, what you talking <laughs> about? <laughs> I never seen nobody. Like, <laughs> you cook. Dog, that shit fucked up, dog. That, that's fucked up social media do that shit to you, bro. That's why motherfucking OGs back in the day was having so many families, dog, because they couldn't get tracked down. Uh-huh. Nigga, you, you had nothing to track you down unless you was fucking up and they, they, they might be friends or some shit or they, they talking mm-hmm. in the neighborhood, but... You coming to your job you just gotta at the find, same time. Niggas just got to find the ones, bro, that they ain't validated, that yeah. don't need social media to validate them. Yeah, like for sure. Facts. Yeah. And then I just tell, like, I, I, tell my, my, I tell my son all the time, like, my son 14, I be telling him all the time, dog, don't be a goofy, bro. Like, don't be, don't don't just be a goofy ass nigga. I see too many of that shit on social media, bro. Like, if, if you know you're going to be into that shit, dog, just stay away. Like, if you're going to be a dirt bad nigga, just stay off social media, like you said. You know what I'm saying? Or, nigga, just do the right thing, man. Just don't be worried about that shit completely. Like, back mm-hmm. in the day, I used to have to have my, have my cell phone on my hip going to the shower. With no, I don't know how that happened, but nigga, I made it happen. Because <laughs> you got you got to hide your phone. Nigga. I used to put my phone under the box spring, nigga. Like, nigga, you ain't get to this bitch on silent, nigga. Like, <laughs> <Damn>. <laughs> <laughs> That's how I hate you, yo, bro. That's how I hate you. Hiding motherfuckers. Then my habit, niggas just be listening. Like, I be finding myself you to put your phone face no, down. No, I have habit, it, dog. Like, you feel me? <laughs> they don't even understand that. Like, like damn, how you phone face down? Like, shit. I, the crazy thing, I don't even do that. Like, yeah. My yeah. girl yeah. used to do that shit heavy a lot. Yeah. Like, nah, but like, what the fuck you putting your But they, guess what? That bitch ring and it's a bitch name on that bitch. She let your eyes be big as hell. Like. <laughs> 
she get the reason for that, that bitch. That motherfucker ain't gonna ring. Yeah, yeah. She that shit feel good now, nigga. I can put the phone down, go to, go take a shower without being scared, nigga. Man, for sure. For nigga, sure. you be in that bitch shower sweating your ass. I'm like, damn, hold nobody in the car. Oh, yeah. Let me hurry. Take that bitch in the shower. Take the real quick. You said. Nigga got the porn spots. Like, we heard we got this bitch, dog. <laughs> so, uh, my, my, another bar you had said, dog, this was on the group shit. It was like, uh, stacking, stacking for a new crib, nigga, stacking for some Cardi's. Nigga, that shit be real, nigga. Like, I got homies, nigga, that ain't never had no crib. But they be having all the other shit, bro. Like, Nigga, shit, where bro. your priorities at, dog? Bro, there's a lot of popular bums out here, too. <laughs> a whole Hell lot yeah. of popular bums out here. Dog! <laughs> Hell yeah. A lot of popular bums. Dog. The nigga's name be holding more weight than anything. Like, damn, that like, nigga fresh. Me. But he stay in the basement of mom's crib, like... Hey, nigga got to sneak the motherfucking bitch downstairs. Like you saying this nigga stacking for his man's pick him up. You feel Hell me? yeah. This nigga just stacking to try to get him a pair of glasses. You feel for me? For with the fake Balenciagas he got. <laughs> right. Hell yeah, dog. Because like you said, niggas be chasing that social media dream. They can go ahead and take that picture with the motherfucking bus or the, you know what I'm saying, the, the, the wire is on. And they motherfucker, they famous now. Yeah. That's two dollars. like what you talking about with the females, but the same thing with the niggas with the validation. Like, you feel me? That nigga want it too. He Hell yeah. He be like, damn. Hell yeah. He don't want to whisk it all. Like, you feel me? Hell yeah. Like, I see you with the gays and the Duke of Dane. Yeah. You got that? <laughs> <laughs> that HP jacket, you fresh over there. Like, dog. Hell no. So, man, not on the group shit, dog. I did top five, but I did it with both of the mistapes together, dog. Okay. Or EPs. So, my, my top five, dog, is uh, the Martin and Gina. Uh, don't let me down, young niggas, broke boys, and uh, splash bros. Damn. So y'all top five with both of them bitches combined. Martin and Gina for sure. That shit hard though. I like that shit. Yeah, nigga. I knew that was. I knew what that was when I wrote it. Yeah. Martin and Gina, young niggas, broke boys, for sure. I was talking shit in there. Yeah. Um. Damn. Don't let me down. And I'm gonna go with thirty six waves. I'm I'm gonna try. I don't know. I'm gonna say thirty six waves yeah. or uh, vibes interlude. Okay. Hell yeah, cause no, that shit. Cause I was like I said, whenever I get niggas come on the show, I make sure I just bury into the motherfucking music for the whole week straight. Though, what's your shit, hustle? I wanna say probably. 36 Waves, Splash Bros, uh, I can't really sum it up, bro. Yeah, man, shit, you know, that's how, <laughs> I, you, I, I, I get I, niggas like that on the show, nigga. <laughs> it kinda, it, it kinda, I know, like, it is a short one, but yeah. I still can't really sum it up, bro. Yeah, yeah, like, yeah. Like, between those, like, between those two tapes, Hell yeah. I can't really sum it up, G. Now you know what I'm saying you keep it you keep it basketball dog. What was the whole uh, uh, shit behind Splash Bros? Like just cause y'all two and you, Clay and Curry and shit dog. Like yeah, that's what it is. I feel like like I was telling that nigga like shit. Everything we do like from the way we dress, everything we do that shit yeah. is sauce. Yeah, like, shit is dripping. Hell it's yeah, wet. like everything like yeah. from the music to the clothes to everything. So I'm like damn, we should do Splash Bros. Yeah, like my man Diddy said, he's like that shit stick and which it did cause. Everywhere we go now, we ain't even hustling yeah. stacks. Now we splash. No, I swear to God, on everything, I thought that was y'all group name was the Splash like, Bros. Like, uh, <laughs> no, everywhere we go now, like, <laughs> niggas like, like Splash Bros. Yeah. Like, you feel me? Like, God damn, like, we, ain't, we can't turn ourselves into them. <laughs> like, you feel me? Yeah, yeah, I swear to God, I thought I'll y'all be, I'll be I'll somewhere, nigga, like, hey, Splash Bros. Yeah, like, oh shit. Hell uh, <laughs> yeah, for sure, though. I swear to God, I thought that was y'all motherfucking group name was Splash Bros. See, I was, my like, hold on, these niggas is just hustling stacks. No, shit, that man. was just the tape we did that because uh, I drop vibes. Cause like I said, we do this music shit for real, so I did uh, vibes, but like we from Highland Park, so like don't get it twisted. So mm -hmm. I did. I felt like we had to do Splash Bro just cause vibes so laid back and chill. Like damn, niggas got us mm -hmm. fucked up. Mm -hmm. Like you feel me? Cause niggas that uh, put you in the box. Hell yeah. yeah. Be like oh, they only like no. Yeah. Like, you got us fucked up. We're so very versatile. Every summer we gonna always do. We yeah. gonna always do like a four to six of those. Hell yeah. That ain't even our type of music we like doing. Like, yeah, it's cause it's easy for us to do because we make music. You feel me? <laughs> yeah, yeah difference in our, we not lying on our shit. Yeah, like, we oh, don't yeah. got to do all that extra fabrication. Gonna get you bars, punchlines. Yeah, storytelling. 
Hell yeah. Like that. No, no lies. Hell yeah. Overall, nigga, you got all. Nigga, total package in this motherfucker. Hell yeah. Right. Right, look, that's right. what you hit it on the nose. That's why I be telling niggas. Like, a lot of niggas don't got the what's the name. I be, everybody yeah, ain't so made um, for that shit. Some yeah. niggas is made. Just some niggas don't got it, so that's why they write for other niggas. Hell like, yeah. But everybody think they got it. Like, yeah. that, that ain't true. See, y'all ever thought about that shit, dog? Like, 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 it's, first off, it's a two part question, dog. Is it ever, like, y'all ever say it's an age cap on, on the music? Like, if I don't make it by this shit, it's gonna be, you know what I'm saying, over. And no. on the flip side, do y'all be like, shit, if, if this music don't pan out, maybe I could, shit goes right for motherfuckers? I already write, like, R&B shit, nah. Okay. Just to have on deck. Like a small nigga shit come. like you do that shit. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> just for when the time comes. Just for when the time yeah. comes. Just, just to have that shit in the can already. Oh, yeah. A lot of niggas like that nigga Drake. I think Ja Rule, Future. Yeah. Like a lot of niggas write for females. Yeah. Write for females and just other R&B singers and shit. Hell or yeah. shit, other rappers. Yeah. So I be trying to keep shit like that in the tuck. But, um... But shit, I don't know, man. No age cap though, like nigga. You said, I don't nigga. think so, cause Cause you, I think two chains. Yeah. Two chains. T Ross, nigga, to get popping. Two chains, older. Ross, Benny the Butcher just got a deal. Yeah, but yeah, them niggas like 38, 39. Shout out to yeah. Conway Grizzell. Them that shit. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. So drop. like, you pay attention like that, and like, like, and then when it's your time, you gotta do with your time. What you supposed to do? Two chains got that bitch. Look yeah. what he doing. Like, Hell you yeah. feel me? Mm-hmm. He changed his like, whole motherfucker persona from Titty Boy. Changed it. Rick Hell Ross yeah. got that bitch Like he did a lot of shit That niggas Don't that know Been, making, been out niggas. before him And Andy had more money Ross, Than him Wasn't doing like, yeah. You feel me So shit man You say uh, Real quick dog You had me think about some shit When you say you uh, You know saying You write R&B shit And we were talking about earlier A song That Defined a time of your life A song or a CD So you, you know saying You and your R&B bad dog You have had a song that, that, that represent a female dog That you think about Like damn I miss Keisha Like back in the day And shit like My shit I'm gonna go with my shit first though My shit was uh the gene wine that my whole life has changed. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what I'm gonna tell you, dog? No. On some real shit, I can't. I gotta, you gotta give me a second to think of one. No. I'm gonna pass the bro, though, because bro know way more R&B than me. Dog, cause dog, my whole life has changed. You just chicken that uh, who, who what was that? What was her chick? Uh, Eric Lyons, bro. I'm gonna put a whole government on that bitch, nigga. And then I remember, nigga. <laughs> we got we finally got together, boy. I, that motherfucker uh, song came on watching BET. What's that shit? Come on at, uh, at twelve o'clock. BET, uh, whatever he's playing R B shit. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Soul, and nigga, as soon as we like made it official, dog. Yeah, soul, soul. Mm-hmm. Soon we made it official, nigga. That song was on, nigga. And my whole life has. <laughs> <laughs> and I felt like my shit changed, nigga. <laughs> like nigga, you understand, nigga? I chased this motherfucker for the whole <laughs> for the whole ninth grade, dog. Around I chased that her. Time, around that time, my shit probably was that. What was that? What was that damn Marcus Houston song? That uh. Oh shit. Damn, Damn circles. circles. <laughs> no, you said what? Radiation? No, 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 no. Circles. No, that's way after. That's no. way after. Circles. No, nah, bro. Naked. No, it wasn't that, bro. <laughs> It probably was when they, when they, it probably yeah, was they was a group. It probably was when they was that group, that last oh, yeah, group song. Shit. Yeah, that last oh. IMS oh, yeah, huh. song they did. All because of you? Girl, yeah, you know what I mean? What am I my life? I'm going to change my life. I, man, you trying to change your life, dog? Like, you know what? That probably, I ain't like, hustling. Like, 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 yeah, like I, you was a little kid. Like, yeah. that, like I was a kid at that time listening to that. No, oh, so I just heard that. like that was really. It was a lot of shit. Even from down to that Sammy's nigga and all. That. <laughs> Niggas had a lot of shit back then. No, but yeah, nigga, my whole life yeah, has changed. Brown, I want to say it would have been probably some Chris Brown shit, some first Chris Brown. Yeah, dog, because like niggas be too hard. Like nigga, hell no. Everybody know it's an R and B song or a motherfucker, some shit that you be like, damn, I remember her, dog. Like, <laughs> like then another one with. Uh, I mean, music do that shit anyway. Yeah, like, it's always gonna put my, a timestamp. Like, fr- and then that, that bitch played me too. Fuck you. <laughs> my, 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 shit, my life won't change for three Fuck days. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, hell no. But then my first, uh, my first little girlfriend, dog, it was um, cause she dedicated the song to, to to us and shit, dog. That music soul child when um his wife was in the wheelchair in oh, the yeah. video and shit, yeah, dog. Mm-hmm. That shit, dog. Like oh shit, I know what you're talking. About. <laughs> yeah, that's when you really seen that nigga at that don't cock change, out. Like, don't yeah, no, don't, don't change. Yeah. yeah, like he yeah. said, so he really <laughs> seen he was sitting on the couch with the gray hair. <laughs> Like, yeah. damn, that nigga all, all, all over the place, nigga. Like, hey, music that nigga, though, man. Mm-hmm. 
That nigga, I think they was yeah. talking about him doing a versus battle with somebody. He could. Him and uh, what's that? Probably be a and nice one. Though. That he probably couldn't win, but he'll get he'll oh. get a lot of niggas to fuck up out of here. Yeah, I was about song. to say he'll get a lot of them. Uh, I think him and like uh, Anthony Harrison. I mean, I said Anthony Harrison though. Anthony Hamilton. Anthony Hamilton. Too much of them today though. Anthony Hamilton. Yeah, some hits too. That would be a good. Ooh, I didn't them to fuck up out of here. I don't think I don't want twenty songs with them. I want ten though. I want ten. Yeah, because they got twenty though. They need to start doing like a pregame. Doing like a pregame. Anthony got ten. They need to do. Like a little pregame, like take, 10, hell yeah, 10 or 5 and shit, dog. Hell yeah, dog. So, shit, man. When we, we, let's get off that shit for you. Niggas started just thinking about some shit, dog. Nigga, the S curls and this bitch dancing like. <laughs> <laughs> Nigga, all that bitch, like, yeah, I love you, baby. <laughs> My whole life has changed. <laughs> dog, what's some, uh, y'all you, you, look for a deal, though, or like a partnership, or like if a deal made sense, like, what would be some shit? It'd have to be a partnership. I ain't in the sign in 360. I can tell, dog, you know no shit. Because you yeah. coming up with your own little shit, like. Yeah, I I, don't, I pay attention to yeah, paperwork. Okay. So, like, yeah. I ain't no 360s. Yeah. It'd have to be a partnership. If it ain't a partnership and you trying to give me some cheese or yeah. advance to do some shit, yeah. then I'm already popping. I might as well do that shit myself. Yeah, hell yeah. Hell yeah, because yeah. that's, that's the one thing, like, social media. Shit, once you get that motherfucker following, they see that shit like you. You only need that motherfucking um that deal just for that backing, cause they a machine. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. That's it though. But and I need like full distribution, full creative control. Niggas take your creative control and your masters. Like damn, yeah. I can't even control shit. And Hell then if yeah. you don't like the shit that you making me do, yeah, you want shell? Hell yeah, right. for sure. Throw, yeah. Hell yeah. yeah. Hey, no, nah, so. Hell yeah, dog. Y'all, y'all niggas ever thought about like, man, like I might be getting some buzz here, but. Maybe if I move, I get a bigger buzz moving out the motherfucking state. Facts. That's anywhere you go, just because yeah. naturally, and they, mm -hmm. it's a dip. Wherever you go, it's a sound. Like Detroit got their own sound. So like, but the only thing with that is like we don't sound like a Detroit nigga. No, y'all don't. So like, like a you feel, we already yeah. got that, and we gonna ain't no point in moving for that. It's probably you can move for uh, just like like if it was Atlanta or LA. That's yeah. what me and bro be talking about all the time. We going back and forth with that shit right now. But like. Yeah. Them probably two places just because exposure. Yeah, hell but yeah. But just not just for the uh, mm -hmm. for the music though, because we already don't sound like where we at. Yeah, for sure. Hell yeah, hell yeah. Cause like yeah, a lot get of time out of the box, huh? You had to get out of, out of this box because that's what most of the rappers from here are doing. They 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 move. Yeah, they what's, around. what's some shit y'all don't like though? As far as like, damn, I got to deal. But it's some shit that you got to deal with with music. Like, what's some shit that you you know what I'm saying through making music and and all this shit that you don't like. Like, nigga, that y'all got to fuck with. Like, y'all said y'all doing the showcases every two weeks. Like, what's some shit that y'all don't like that y'all got to deal with, though? I always, uh, you know, I hate that shit. I find a way like to appreciate it because that's just part of the grind. It's probably the, shit, it be the dick sucking, man. Yeah. Like, if you saying it's something for it, it's the dick sucking for me. Yeah. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Dick sucking for me. <laughs> you get a lot of shit, dog. <laughs> real shit. For real, dog. Same with you, shit, dog. But you can't really, you can't really say something. You feel me? Yeah. Uh, niggas not. I'm gonna have niggas not heard some shit for years. And, but you know when niggas listen versus a nigga, like when that nigga uh, Jay Z <laughs> said, "Is you listening?" Yeah. Like you feel me? Yeah. Or is you just listening? Like you feel me? You ain't even paying attention for real. That's what niggas do. Yeah. To some other nigga, tell them like, "Damn, it's the shit." And then yeah. they got to go back and they pay attention. Not like, "Damn, mm -hmm. that shit mm -hmm. is her." So I get that shit a lot. I hate that shit. Mm -hmm. But just because track. I'm an artist, I'm not about to be like, no, I'm not accept the love. You feel me? Mm -hmm. Niggas catch on different shit mm -hmm. at different times. That shit. Yeah, I'm about to say Larry Thomas and all that shit, dog. Yeah, that nigga say dick sucking for me, show. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, niggas do niggas do that shit all the time though, bro. Like with everything, like niggas a dick suck just to, like you said, nigga just to. Yeah, a lot of niggas for clout. A lot of yeah. niggas don't even listen to somebody. You could tell a nigga about somebody, yeah. and if a nigga like, think dog. that's the popular opinion, whatever yeah. you told him, exactly, he gonna go tell somebody else. He feel the same way, and these yeah, the reasons, yeah. like blah blah blah. Now, that's like. So that's like, like with, that's like with music, bro. I always say like with with an artist from your from your hood, your city, or your state. You 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 will be like, dog, the nigga shit fire, the nigga shit cold. But you ain't playing the nigga shit on the daily. Like you would give, like I say, Drake or J Cole or the baby or a little baby. But you gonna mm -hmm. play that shit all month. But yeah, just cause yeah. it's your homie, nigga, you gonna get a nigga one listen. Like, dog, that shit hard. Yeah, uh -huh. that's the nigga really don't just be wanting to say that shit, bro. That really be envy, bro. At the yeah. same time, cause yo, if your homie feel like he can do that shit, but he not doing that yeah, shit, yeah. he envious of you. Hell so when yeah. you go in that bitch and cook up some shit, that's why niggas like if you uh you say you be doing music, probably get this shit for sure. Anytime you make some some class shit, me and bro do the shit all the time. Anytime yeah. you make some shit, nigga gonna come and tell you like, bro, damn that bitch fired. Yeah. Only thing you missing is me on that bitch. <laughs> <laughs> Hell yeah, Hell yeah. No, for real. Like, what? Hell yeah. damn, bro, you don't even. Right. Damn, man. Like, like, damn, if I was on that bitch, though, like, like damn. Duh, that's like, 
So <laughs> yeah, yeah. Gonna hit you with that uh, all the time. That'd be an indicator for yeah. me. Yeah. Yeah. Know this bitch fire. Know you're not getting on this bitch. Like, yeah, yeah, it's like this podcast. He said, you, you should go ahead and do this. Like, nigga, what? Nigga, you ain't even got shit going on. Like, yeah, you feel me? How you gonna give me some advice? I just put that in the, um, I just said that on some shit that's coming on more vibes. Like, best advice don't take none. Yeah, hell yeah. Like, you feel me? Because niggas will try to give you advice and then if the shit don't work out, yeah. then you gonna be feeling bad. Like, damn, I listen to dog. I should have just did this, but you doing shit for you. Hell yeah, for sure. Is 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 this some shit that y'all niggas would have changed? Like, as far as y'all approach dog, the way y'all started, like, would you, or, or, or some shit that you would have changed differently that you would have done, you know what I'm saying? As far as, like, your jump start to music. Would have some shit like, nigga, I would have came out a little earlier. I went, y'all just say y'all took a little pause. Y'all went and did that. More music, like. I don't know. When we first started dropping, I probably would have put, I probably would have just, I probably would have left the group earlier yeah that's what i was just about to say i most definitely <laughs> wouldn't have dealt with, with brody like that yeah, yeah. that'd have been yeah. one thing that's, that's my dog like, i'm gonna say he still made music like that shit no i know nah, yeah, oh yeah, shit damn you said my bad my bad yeah real talk yeah rest peace my dog but like some groups don't don't fit no yeah niggas just being different bad niggas might be cold on their own though can't be thinking one way with a third one not oh yeah you know hell yeah saying? yeah for sure it's, it ain't gonna work right and i can't do fabricated raps bro that's the thing and then i be knowing niggas just... too like bro niggas y'all be thinking a lot of niggas be thinking niggas just be lying because they ain't got shit it be niggas that got shit and niggas that did yeah. shit and yeah. they're still about to go in the booth and yeah. lie and make up yeah. some whole Duh. other shit like brand bro, your life dope enough i'm telling you like, nigga, you yeah, like, like about your i'm telling you <laughs> my nigga my nigga, <laughs> my nigga reds you be saying shit i'm like dog i don't know what the fuck to say me look google this shit like niggas like just some shit like, to say i don't what? know what the fuck to say on this bitch like you don't, you, if it's that hard if, it, <laughs> if it's that hard for you to do you nigga, don't need to be right nigga right, calling niggas like dog if you in a situation like you write you write notes down like I ain't nah. That's, CB4 that's too shit, much. Dog. That's too much. <laughs> Hell yeah. yeah, but niggas be like that though, bro. For real, dog. I was, that's crazy. So shit, y'all. <laughs> yeah, man. Shit, for real, dog. So you say that's that's one thing y'all would change as far as like y'all would got out the group and shit. Because yeah. you say that third person was all thinking different from what y'all was doing. Yeah, mm -hmm. He was doing it longer than us, too. So you feel me naturally. You feel the me? whole name changed. That's yeah. why I said we was totally different. We went by a whole different name. Yeah. Hell yeah. What's some uh with the music shit though, what's some short term, long term goals, bro? Shit, short term, just put all these projects out. Mm. Yeah. Mm. Uh long term, start dropping albums. Cause we trying to wait to we gonna know when it's time. Like, yeah. You feel me? That's what my man's mojo was saying on the last one. He like he he just dropping singles because he like I don't wanna put an album out until like I feel like I got a good enough following. So yeah. then like if I put one out too soon and then not enough niggas listen. And then you already on the second project, like damn, like you yeah, gotta start over the again. First one, dude. Yeah, 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 for sure. <laughs> that shit like this trophy and shit, and the shit with Splash Bros and vibes, like and that's what niggas need to understand too. Like our shit just different. Like it's niggas not even putting too. that much effort into EPs. Like this yeah. ain't an album. If I do an album, it gotta be way more in depth than the shit that we're A lot of people out. didn't even know what EPs was until we started yeah. doing. Them. Yeah, I know that for a fact. Hell niggas yeah, even... yeah, because that that's the new wave and shit now, like. Yeah. And then yeah, yeah, niggas like you said, niggas but follow. Like trend. I said, I just be ahead of shit. I told that yeah. nigga that three yeah. years ago. Yeah, All right, bro, niggas just drop EPs. Hell yeah, like, just little teasers, little shit like that. Little, cause you don't want to put like, put you all into that motherfucker, dog. What's what's some shit y'all want to do? Y'all already branding and shit, dog. What's some shit you want to do outside the music, bro? Like that you like you 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 feel like nigga? I put my hundred percent in this shit. I love this shit just as much as I love the music. Shit, uh, I'm about to get my acting back. Oh shit, man! I've been trying to do that shit. I've been trying to be third number three forever, dog. Yeah. I was gonna be acting, acting in uh, that acting in fashion, like oh, in the yeah. design and shit. Yeah, what about you? I don't really know at this point. I'm just more focused on the music and yeah. family. Man, I've been newborn. Oh shit! Congrats, so I just, bro. Yeah, appreciate it. Hell so yeah! That's your first. Fun. You said your, your first one. Uh, second. 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 Yeah, what you got? Yeah. What you got? Girl. Both girls. Yeah. yeah. I got three girls. Man. Oh, shit, nigga's a player. Girl, daughter. <laughs> you right there? Say what you had them girls, boy. Man, I got all girls. That's what about you? You got kids, like, bro? Two girls. <clears throat> two girls. Damn, these niggas. Yeah, two we, double we, players, we nigga. <laughs> we yeah. girls with daddies. Damn, yeah. I just had my uh, my first girl, bro. My last kid, my first girl. Got three of them motherfuckers, mm. man. Two mm. two boys and a uh, little girl, nigga. Like I already tell my yeah, best. The girl, the youngest. Yep. Oh yeah. See. I already tell him I be a sucker, man. Though, like my my fucking oldest son, fourteen. Other boy four, yeah, and then her ass is four months. Oh yeah, fourteen, four, and four months, nigga. Like, 
Hey, I'm already a sucker already, bro. Yeah, I'm about to say she gonna get you. They be getting whatever the fuck they want. Man, hell yeah. Like that. But that's cool though. If they get it from you, they yeah. ain't gonna go try to find any one of these niggas. Oh, hell yeah. For sure. I think about this shit already and she only fucking four months, nigga. Like yeah. I got it. Yeah, Make sure bro. I get my piss on deck everything, dog. All the time, bro. So shit, man, y'all stacks and hustle, man. Like I thought about what y'all niggas having fuck with like I thought about fucking with a podcast, like start your own shit. I had a podcast. We did like it's called the session. We did like it was basically what Drink Champs was yeah. is but just we, yeah. But yeah. Um, we was going to film and um and record in Ipsy, so we was going all the way out to Ipsy. Me, and my man's Trey, shout out to Trey. Yeah. We was going all the way out to Ipsy, record that bitch. It's like in the winter time. So yeah. Like, you feel me? I stay in the um in Detroit on the west side. He stay in Westland. Yeah. So we going to Ipsy Yo. like when it's snowing and shit. Yeah. Like every uh every week. So then we just got tired of going out there. And we just like no. Nah. So we stopped it. That shit probably was like. I want to say three years ago now. Oh shit! Yeah. So y'all y'all been on that then too. <laughs> yeah, that shit was dope though. Yeah, we, we always, y'all y'all had like what daily com- like conversations, daily topics and shit like yeah, that. Or y'all had people on there. Look, daily topics. We had a couple people on here. This nigga was on there. Probably like probably had like three or four people on there while we was doing it. Yeah, like, for we sure. We had another podcast on there. Uh, shout to um, call you back pod. Oh yeah, we know Robin them. Yeah, 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 yeah. It was it was over here and shit one day. Yeah, oh, yeah. Robin and Kayla. Robin yeah, niggas. hell yeah, Robin niggas. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 They from they from HP too, right? No, no. Oh from shit. The, uh, I lied all on that shit. <laughs> they Robin from the East Side. Kayla might be from the East Side too. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That's what's up. But y'all never talk about y'all gonna start that shit back up or you just gonna leave I don't know. We've been uh we've been talking about it and shit. I just be having so much other shit going on. I'm like, dog, I gotta try to dedicate my time and fit it in there. But yeah, we probably gonna eventually do it. Okay. Okay. Now, dog, we always end this show before you know, saying with I give you a a, a a topic or a category, whatever. You give me your top three on it, dog. All right, bet. So give me your uh give me your top three childhood crushes, bro. Topanga. Damn, fat ass. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's, that's definitely my top three childhood boy. I can watch that shit like, damn. <laughs> and I think that bitch racist. Uh, I'm still. <laughs> yeah, for sure. <laughs> yeah, 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 I think that bitch still. Yeah, yeah, still get uh, it, racist yeah. bitch. <laughs> Topanga. Damn, I want to say Kelly, but I can't have it be all white, bitch. Um, <laughs> You're like this nigga. <laughs> Do I carry off a uh, save, save my bill? bill. Yeah, yeah, that bitch bad too. Mm. How old I <laughs> Like you feel? Me? If you need a white bitch, Kelly. <laughs> yeah. All right, you got Topanga dog. Uh, oh, I I'll, I'll take uh, what's her name? Um, what's the black girl name? Oh, uh, oh, Lisa. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That motherfucker turned to some other shit, but she was bad back then. Hell yeah, yeah, yeah back then. Hell yeah. Um, so you got Lisa Topanga. Beyonce. Beyonce. You say you say about Aaliyah. Oh yeah. Then, Aaliyah. Yeah, yeah. All right, cool. What about you, Hustle Dog? Your top three chicks, man, back then. Mm. I go with um Fancy. Oh, Fancy oh, had, okay. her nipples would be hard on every show, yeah. boy. <laughs> Fancy, okay, okay. She never wore a bra, boy. It's damn teeth, boy. <laughs> See he had time to think, he but it's not like yeah, off the top. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, fancy is nice, but the panga nigga, that's that shit. That's all the time. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> she, yeah, fancy. Man, that was that fancy was, pants, nigga. On that bitch, dog. I was I was digging Kyla Perry as I was as I was growing oh, up. Yeah. Oh yeah, Kyla Perry. Hell yeah, yeah. I still fuck her. I was most definitely digging her. Nigga, I swear to God, I thought I was gonna be a rapper and get with her when I got older and shit. <laughs> 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 so you think like I was like, yeah, like, yeah that, that's that. I'm gonna fuck with that. Right, right there for me. Um, <laughs> got it right bad, boy. That uh, what's the old girl name off of, uh, off the uh, next Friday? Oh, um, next Friday was uh, that was the me- the Mexican chick, right? Yeah. Yeah, 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 I forgot her name on that bitch, dog. So Kyla, hold on. Carla, Carla, Carla. Yeah. So hold on, so so you so you think that was the badass one from all, from the three Friday chicks? Yeah. What about you, dog? Out of the three Friday chicks, Craig had though. Who was the badass one? You talking about the black one? No, he's talking about the Mexican, Mexican one. one. When they went to Ran- Ran- Rancho Cucamonga. Black bitch is straight too, though. What on oh, no, the one with Pimpin? Talking about the last one. Talking about the last one. Who he took for Money Mike? Yeah. yeah. The last oh, one. Oh, well, we got three different things because Nia Long is the baddest motherfucker in the world. That's all I'm about to say. I'm about to say anytime it's Nia, yeah. especially about then, Nia Long. Shit, yes. she was riding her pants, nigga. Like, damn. Man, that motherfucker. Well, speaking of movies, give me your top three. Scratch at least a turtle and give me Nia Long. Okay, hell yeah. <laughs> hell yeah. That was her last name, too. A turtle on that pants. Uh, hell yeah. Give me your top three movies then since we on that shit, dog. Ooh. Blow, belly, good fellas. 
Blow belly good. Dog, the belly shit been coming up a lot. Recipes are better to dig in. Blow belly that's trash. That's your trash. You know what? Bro. Trash what? acting, but you know I like the movie. <laughs> Why? I like the movie. Both them niggas, both them niggas is, is, was themselves in the movie. It wasn't hard for them to do that shit. <laughs> yeah, 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 both yeah. Them niggas blow is my them. shit, bro. Yeah, bro shit. But see, my, yeah, my yeah. shit, my shit blow, Shawshank Redemption. Cause that shit a classic, bro. Nigga clamped, I mean, uh, goes climbing through the motherfucking sewer and shit. And then I had to put like probably Malcolm X in that bitch, dog. Mm. But then, but then if y'all want to go on some hood shit, it's Friday, Minister Society, and motherfucking probably like Juice yeah, or some shit. Blow the shit, yeah, that's bro. Blowing Goodfellas, both of them. Bro. Yeah, blow. That's the shit though. What, what's your shit, blow? Well, I I'm gonna say blow. What's your shit, bro? <laughs> I gotta say Scarface. Yeah, it's it's blow. Awesome. And I wanna say. That um, what's that movie that uh, Catch Me If You Can? Mm. Oh shit! Mm. We, about tell these niggas jumped out mm. the porch real early, nigga. Damn, Scarface and muscle blows it. That bitch should have. Uh, matter of fact, man. Rest in peace, DMX. We gonna just put that in the whole nother category. Yeah, honorable mention. Shit. I'm gonna say uh, Crash. Oh yeah, yeah, like as far as writing and shit, nigga. What's him get ass beat every time, nigga? By motherfucking Terrence Howard, yeah. dog. Ludacris ass. That was a good. That was how they <laughs> like, skinny like, black man. It was a couple movies that they did after the way that yeah. was filmed. That was a good way they filmed that movie. Yeah. Not just write shit. Like, so, like, that's like, what I'm gonna get into too, like writing film and shit. Hell like, yeah, TV shows. Hell yeah, shit. We got a little shit called uh, Dog. You about to get married? Y'all go check that out on YouTube. <laughs> 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 uh, give me y'all top three TV shows, bro. Now, yeah. now I get all time family, thinking, Jay. Family Matters. Oh. Um. <laughs> it was a good show when I was young, though. I hate Man, that bitch when I got older. You said you, you said you ain't really like it. I liked it, it back was... then, but then when I looked at that bitch again, like, dog, Steve, come on, cuz. Was... And then, <laughs> nigga, Carl Winslow, that was the motherfucking Eddie. That was his real son, bro. This nigga was 6'6". Six, six. Yeah. Then Carl Winslow was like, hey, man, fight. That bitch. <laughs> <laughs> that nigga was not his son, dog. Uh, top Martin. It's that gay man. Oh yeah, Martin for sure. Hell yeah. Most definitely. Um, Martin and for sure. Wayne's brothers. You my nigga, dog. You bet you had you had nigga, dog. This hating ass nigga say Wayne brothers is trash, Wayne's dog. Wayne's brothers. I'm gonna go. Wayne's brothers. I'm gonna go Martin, <laughs> dog. Hell no. I'm gonna go Martin. All right, Martin. Hell yeah. Dexter. <laughs> hey, throw the cartoon, nigga. Bro? No, yeah, not the cartoon. Yeah, oh, bro. shit, I'm talking about that. Oh, that's okay. Yeah, you better white dude. Malcolm yeah. in the Middle, that was my shit, too. Hell yeah. Oh, yeah, I seen every episode of that. Hell yeah. yeah. Hell yeah. With this nigga. I know. That was my so, shit, bro. So you got yeah. Dester, you got Martin. Uh, um. Damn. I'm going to take Dexter out. I'll place Dexter with friends. Friends? What? Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So friends, the white living single. Yeah. <laughs> Um, All right, exactly. So yeah, you got that. You got friends. I mean, friends. Motherfucking Martin. What's your third one? So you know, niggas ain't had cable. Hell yeah, yeah nigga. Cause motherfucker uh, Malcolm Miller straight up and nigga fit Chomp fit. Hell yeah, friends. Uh, friends that's when King of the Hill. All that shit. <laughs> King of the Hill. Samson. King of the Hill. Yep, Simpson. <laughs> nigga, once he get about like, once team, Mash come on, yeah, it's time man, to go to oh, sleep. Yeah, nigga, I say it all the time, dog. If Mash was on, nigga, <laughs> you, like, you like, up too late, nigga. Time, yeah, you up too late. Cause that shit. Come on, after the news, nigga, shit. like, down, 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 like, yo. So I put me to bed. Like, I don't even think time. I know what it's really about. Duh, like, I as just, soon as I seen it the, come on with the intro, I'm like, like, man. I was like, I probably go oh, Fresh no, Prince, bro. This. Fresh Prince. Oh, you got to do Fresh Prince. Hell yeah, Fresh Prince. Fresh Prince. Hell yeah, hell yeah, man. Give me all, uh, give me all top three foods. Hmm. Tacos. Steak. Mm. That's the bitch's meal right there. You know, all, all, everybody can make <laughs> tacos. Yeah. Salmon. That's salmon. the go-to meal. Hell yeah. Salmon, shrimp. Yeah, shrimp all day, dog. Yeah, salmon. I love seafood. Salmon, so I'm going to salmon. Salmon, shrimp, um, crab legs. Hell yeah. Yeah, that's some, that's some good shit, dog. But yeah, taco, tacos, hard shells, soft shells. Hustle, nigga. Soft. Soft. Oh, yeah. Definitely. I just started eating soft like nigga two weeks ago because I actually got <laughs> eating them hard. Them, yeah, I stack them bitches, double them up, <laughs> and then take some Dorito, crunch them up in that bitch. Oh, yeah, nigga, blow. Sour, <laughs> sour cream. Man, nice. look. This nigga, real quick, this nigga used to uh, <laughs> uh, go and buy a hot and ready. Yeah. Make a bowl of cereal. Smash. Oh, fry yeah. some chicken. 
Like you feel me But go by the hot and ready Put that bitch in the oven You yeah. feel me Just sit that bitch in there Cause you ain't about to eat that bitch Duh. Yeah I ain't going Make out some the fries house. and some chicken And then while you cooking the fries and chicken yeah. Make him some cereal With ice in it Duh. And just eat all that shit Y'all you blow I just like some regular shit Blow This side oh. when I first started smoking This right time I first started smoking weed Duh. And it wasn't no, I ain't, it wasn't no Reggie's. We were smoking. Yeah, well, we were smoking, we smoking good shit early. Yeah, like, I remember being in Kush, school with the twenty dollar jars Kush, and nobody yeah. would buy it because niggas was smoking Reggie's. Yeah, niggas was y'all was smoking Theo Reggie's. Trying right? to buy that shit like that twenty dollars for that loose? Hell yeah. Man, we were selling to the other people like shit. Man, Speak- white people was buying it. So Hell yeah. It was like, right. should we on? So speaking of motherfucking Reggie's and weed and shit, dog. We always end the show off, dog, with a high moment or a drunk moment, dog. Give me a story when y'all was one and the other or both of them bitches. Damn. All right, so look, I was drunk. We had, we on the, uh, this when you trapping on the east side and shit. Yeah. So we on, um, we probably was on Waltham, bro. My pop shit, but I had, uh, I think, I don't know, that was, that was the night we had the white bitches over there. We ended up having like a <laughs> gallon of Patron. Yeah. So like, you feel me? We done drunk this mm-hmm. shit. Yeah. We done drunk this shit. We getting drunk as hell. I just remember feeling like I was dying. I took my shirt off. I was sweating. I told this nigga and his brother, I'm like, look, nigga, like, I'm about to die. I'm like, to kill Couldn't take it. This nigga took a shot with the nigga, like, I'm about to die. Couldn't even move at all. Niggas trying to help me out, like, don't touch me, bro. Like, I'm about to die. I'm about to just die right here. Like, yeah. y'all niggas, you feel me? Yeah. Just letting y'all niggas know. Duh, that, I had I had some shit like that on some edibles, nigga. I about to write a whole Facebook status about that shit. Like, yeah, I'm a, I'm gonna die. I love y'all niggas, duh. Like, it's a wrap for my dumb edibles. Ass. That's yeah, how yeah. it was, bro. Straight, Think straight my... Patron. Niggas used to be running through the Patron. Mm. Shit, y'all niggas rich. I was, yeah, man, <laughs> I was, I was, I was running through the motherfucking Great Seagram. Goose Patron. We was one of my OGs. That's it. That's his drink. Like on the day, like oh, no, niggas drink every day. It's no Patron. Oh, I'm about to say. I got another OG who yeah. single who definitely who, would drink who that shit. Green. He like, don't give a fuck. That <laughs> nigga <laughs> go down. He had started off like you feel me yeah. up here. Like, yeah. He gonna drink that. High his pockets get, he going all the way down. He <laughs> get down to 5 o'clock. It's on 5 o'clock. You feel me? Until we get some more cheese. Hell yeah. Oh, you feel me? Duh. What about you, Hustle, man? What's up, Joe? What's, yeah. you, what, what, what's, 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 what's a hot moment or a jump moment you got? Man, it was one time, man. We was all living in this uh, two-family flat. Yeah, me, cause of my brother, my other cousin and shit. I had this one white chick I used to talk to. She came over with us, was kicking and chilling. We at the pool table, right? Yeah. <laughs> so we 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 done blew about three of them. She sitting here talking with us. Next thing, no business. Fell out. Yeah. It's a room for all of us. Like I is like this. <laughs> Everybody panic. Oh shit! Call the police! Call the police! No, don't call the police, nigga. Don't call the police, nigga. Yeah. This a white man. I'm mad. Yeah, I'm black. What we gonna do with her? No, white, my uncle and the homie like shit. What we gonna do with her? I say, dog. Why she pop back up? Like, oh, duh. Like, what the hell? She had got she had got dehydrated. So yeah. from the fact that her fainting real yeah. quick, she popped back up. But man, it was just so crazy. Duh. It just happened right there. Her ass was gonna wait. If she didn't wake up, her ass was buried in the back. Man. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, no, this nigga say call police. Like, no, nigga, we black. Like, like, what you mean? Why y'all so? Like, what you mean? People don't even know she in the hood. Like, no, no, no. Shit, we got to get rid of this this royal royal that's in the <laughs> house. This nigga got the barrier right? <laughs> straight up. Duh. But, uh, oh, I got I got one more real quick. So look, when I think this right after I graduated high school, this is brother senior year, it's homecoming. We smoking the um. Then we had some, we had some sour D's on some granddaddy perk, but this one niggas still smoking reddies and shit. So uh-huh. we go get these niggas, these niggas, we follow these niggas from home. Come, we go to the room, they leave early, and we go to the room, you know how everybody go to the room after home. Yeah, hell yeah. Man. So we get there before everybody. We in two cars, we two cars deep and shit. Yeah. Both niggas and both cars, no, three niggas and both cars. So both niggas got a jar. A sour D's on a jar of granddaddy and shit. We park right next to each other. Yeah. We smoke them. Why we wake up in the morning? Duh. You know, missed the whole shit. Wake up in the morning. Never got out the car. Both Duh. cars, though. Neither car. Nobody got up. <laughs> no, Duh. Both Duh. Both Duh. Everybody Duh. else's car is behind us in the room. Dead. Like, you feel me? Duh. Duh. Not, nobody got no pussy. Cause you Duh. feel me? Niggas, it's been dead as hell, Man. dog. God damn. I couldn't believe that when that happened. That was that was. Nigga woke up like, hey, y'all just ready to go in? Like, <laughs> Nigga, the birds yeah, turned. Yeah. We waking up and they're like, come all I remember was I just pulling up, 4D, pulling up in the cutty, pulled up, 
can't find a duh. You know I mean? Dumb, Dumb. Like, and, Dumb. like how did we all fall? That we that weed was something fierce. Man. Hell yeah, nigga. That's why I said like, man, we was like when I started smoking weed, I was smoking retarded weed. That shit was <laughs> like, dog, this ain't cool. Like, <laughs> like, like that, uh, like that, um, what what is that? After that Gans, like that, that Gans, shit. The real Gans. Well, during the war, that's what killed Gans. Like Gans, that was a real crazy strand. That mm-hmm. that, that, that Afghan, that Afghan. No, goddamn. In the streets, back then, they used to smell like then, cat piss. Yeah, man, it, that shit was every bit of worth for twenty bucks. You was paying for a gram of that shit. Like that shit gonna put you to sleep. I had a cousin who was throwing up after he didn't smoked it. Slept his whole day away. Man, like, that shit, that weed be dangerous, nigga, for me, because I ain't no motherfucking weed smoker. So whenever I smoke that bitch, nigga, I just start thinking about, nigga, I'm about to, it's over, nigga, I'm about to die, nigga. Like, that's why you got, if you like that, you got to smoke and you just be relaxing, right, to go to sleep. Yeah, nigga, you I be feel me. I respect you like that, bro. Smoke, some, you sitting back some niggas game, weed like sociable shit, so some niggas that be feeling like that and still smoke the weed and be out this bitch tripping. Tripping, like, Duh. what's wrong with you, bro? That ain't for you. <laughs> Hell yeah, nigga, for real. It ain't for me, bro. I wish it was, but nigga, I can't do that shit. I can't get down, bro. I be getting too fucking paranoid and scared. Nigga, like I start thinking for everybody in this bitch, nigga. Like, nigga, I'm good, mm-hmm. nigga. But shit, man, get niggas uh, where you can find y'all niggas on social media, bro. Where you can go ahead and get the music, dog, all that good shit. So, uh, what's up? This your boy Stacks. You can follow me at Splash Bro underscore Stacks. That's Stacks is spelled S T A C K Z. Put the Z on the end, cause niggas be sleeping on us. <laughs> you click that link in my bio, you can um, find any of the music. So just go on Apple Music, Spotify. Um, just go on anything and type in Hustle and Stacks. If you're looking for my solo project, you got to type in Stacks MVP and then the uh, project pop up. What about you, real? Up uh, top. It's your boy Hustle. You can look for me on Instagram at Hustle FG to click. No, that's the wrong down. Oh. Uh, <laughs> no, you that's Splash one. Bros. Splash Bros underscore Hustle. Uh, link tree in the bio. We got everything linked in there from all the projects from MVP season down to Splash Bros. Linked in there. Yeah. Just one click away, all the videos. And fuck with us. We got more heat coming. I'm about to uh, I'm about to drop a um, I'm gonna drop a little freestyle for y'all. Probably like Wednesday. Yeah. I dropped that bitch probably like this Wednesday or Thursday. For sure. And um, shit, more vibes on the way. Yeah. All gas, no brakes on the way. All star MVP on the way. Yeah. Capsule pack on the way. Like shit. Yeah, Go vibes, vibes, vibes on the way. Yeah. Uh, all star MVP and shit. Yeah. Oh, it's yeah, a three pack. You know, okay. all star only a weekend. Hell yeah. Only Damn, a this nigga smart. Cause Quick hell yeah. Three. Quick Good three. Three. <laughs> hell yeah. Shit. What's some? What's some last man? Shit. Y'all want last words? Y'all want to get to the people, dog? Like some shit they go back. Like, Damn. They said that shit. <laughs> the niggas really touched me with that shit. Like, <laughs> like, um, <laughs> Don't shit, let man. nobody tell you you can't do it, man. Just keep driving, keep going, man. Right, shit. Real I'm niggas do. Real shit. niggas do real things, bro. And at the end of the day, like shit, you gonna you gonna take off and fly fly over niggas. So some of them niggas gonna come with you or shit. Some of them niggas just gonna be standing down watching. Hell yeah. At man. the end of the day. For sure, for sure. Like I said, man, again, man. Hey, these niggas got me a bottle. I'm about to take that shit to the crib and celebrate when when I get to celebrate with some. <laughs> uh, shout out to the sponsor, Duke of Dame. Remember, don't fuck with that lane. Get some Duke of Dame. You know what I'm saying? Man. That's the sponsorship. Go ahead, follow them at Duke of Dame Detroit, man. And my last words is going to be like, if you fucking with a white bitch and she get fucked up, have that shovel ready. <laughs> <laughs> right you know what I'm saying? Shout out to everybody, man. 66, man. Oh, yeah, we got motherfucker, uh, uh, cook man in the back rolling up, motherfucker. Got Diddy. <laughs> On the side, this bitch making some plays. Yeah. Got Sugar Good Night back there being sweet on the motherfucking boards. <laughs> and you got one, you got nigga shy man, best podcast in the motherfucking world, man. And that's on crazy.